No, I don't think so. Can they? Hello everyone, can you hear me? Microphone. Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. Sorry, that took a minute. Jeez. Welcome in. Uh, welcome in. We are going to try and answer everybody's questions on the adventure map. And just kind of maybe show you guys some things. All right, here we go. We are in the map. Let's see. Stream is up. I have some yeses loud and clear. Nice. What's up? Will there be dragons, though? <laughs> Will there be dragons? Uh, that depends. I mean, there might be some dragons. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we definitely got Modair. Um, but yeah, you'll have to wait and see on that one. I don't think we have that as something we're going to show you guys in a minute. We've got a few locations that we're going to take you by and give you a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, we've got some topics we want to talk about. So yeah, welcome in. If the music is too loud, just let me know and I can turn the music down a little bit. I just kind of wanted to have a little bit of background noise. Um, all right, so this right here, what you're seeing is actually just, um, how do we get started with this? There are three ways to play on the world, actually, technically speaking. We've just made an FAQ in my Discord, so, um, That'll be actually the best place to get information. I'll go ahead and give you guys a link to that. Paste. If you aren't already in the Discord, that's a great way to uh, learn some stuff. But we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll talk about um, all that right now. Yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the chat uh, and we'll get around to it. Mm-hmm. Um, so the FAQ, first things first, there are three versions of the world. So there is the RPG, fully modded, like MMO experience, open world. I don't know if I said that. And that's going to have quests, classes. Um, actually, can I just share my screen here? Let's see. Am I display capturing? I am. Hopefully. Yeah, I can share this. I don't think this is going to hurt to share this. All right. So this is the FAQ. And you can see at the very top, the first version is going to be RPG, MMO experience, quest classes, and it's on a large multiplayer server. So this is Gathalian's version. And this is kind of the, um, like, it's kind of like an MMO. So the locations, the loot, all of that will reset on timers daily. So you can go in with your friends, clear areas, and then leave and then come back later and even do it again um I'm trying to think of like some examples maybe like raids and like wow or something or uh destiny comes to mind with like weeklies and stuff like that um right now that's being worked on that'll be out in a few months because the mod team needs to finish the pretty complex mod pack that they're working on and also the map they're kind of making their own alterations on the map the second version, Dakar and I will be doing together, and that is a free version, no mods required, so everybody on console can play that, um, just everyone, and yeah, that'll be out in January, uh, and we'll be talking a lot about that during the stream today. And then the third version, um, if you just can't wait for both of those, you really want to check out the world now, uh, you can go ahead and become a ultimate member of my youtube channel and you can go and run around and check out the roads and the bridges that connect everything and check out all the locations as they are um so that brings me That's back exactly what you're gonna see here yeah exactly so that is that brings me back here and so this is actually what you'll see if you become a member and you want to go ahead and check out the world now these portals take you to the four main towns other than um the Meadows Town, which we are inside of, which you'll get to see a little more of just in a second. 
um but yeah you can see the names of the towns which i actually completely forgot to include in the youtube video so we've got the forgotten finn we've got black skull lagoon we've got breezy bluff and then we've also got winter's veil so some nice little kind of you know fantasy ish names and we've also got here is wanderer's rest because this is kind of like where you'll be wandering around but then you'll always be coming back here um so we just thought it'd be kind of cool for wanderer's rest but yeah is there anything we need to say on like the general three worlds um i'm trying to think i think you pretty much covered it um okay yeah everything you're seeing here is essentially what's in the ultimate members and then we'll be working over the next couple of weeks to create this into the linear experience mm -hmm. and yeah finally as you said the full modded rpg version will be on gathalian server yep yep that's yeah that's a <laughs> quick version thank you um and let's see we've got a question can i start off by asking i'm interested in playing a modded version with all the npcs and quests but offline so that's a really 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 good question and you can see here in the faq um question number two is actually that um so you know, my answer here, it kind of depends on a lot of things. We'll know more by January. I want to say yes, but I don't know how or when anything like for sure. Um, basically, what that question entails is taking the RPG version, which has some crazy things that they are developing in the background and kind of offering that map and still having it work that's not on their server so it's kind of it's a little bit complicated and we're, we're hoping that's going to be doable with the mod pack and everything but for now we just don't know so we'll just have to see um but yeah i'll, I'll be putting out you know information in my discord they're, they're putting out information in gathalian's discord and you guys will know when we know for sure how's the performance do all the mods make for some laggy areas so the mods themselves as far as that goes i haven't heard that they're actually causing really uh, any problems um and the areas themselves you can see if i pull up my f2 menu here um we're sitting at around 16,000 instances which if you know i mean you can really get to around 20 i guess i mean what do you think the car like 20 right on a server and really not have any issues yeah um so yeah. I, I i think we kept it to a good point where you guys could enjoy it explore even on the live server you can use all the mods and everything should be okay um we've also got some little tricks and things that we do to um how do you say i mean you explained it really well earlier with this infinite health thing you were talking about with stabilizations like reloading constantly um yeah so without trying to get too technical um there's when yeah this is it is difficult to explain it is kind of yeah. um i don't know all all pieces have stability as you know if you've played the game and when things want to be unstable and start to break they take damage but all pieces are kind of running this calculation in the background all the time but we have some ways to stop them from doing that is the simplest way I can put it. Right. So I've got here pulled up. This is the mod configurator for Infinity Hammer for the mods we use. And you can see right here, there's an infinite health option and that's enabled. So basically everything we've built with on the entire map, that's another question is like, you know, what about trolls like breaking things like, well, actual trolls in the game and then trolls on the server breaking things like people um that that won't be a problem everything's infinite health so it'll be fine yeah you can see you can swing forever and nothing's gonna happen but in terms of performance um you do have everything constantly loading like how stable it is and then when it's infinite health it's constantly ticking down too so there's a lot of little things going on in the background but we've got little ways to kind of take that down and then we've also because we're building with infinite health you can imagine that we don't need iron poles and beams so that alone also removes you know thousands of instances per area um so yeah there's a bunch of little things but hopefully performance will not be an issue my valheim just, my valheim just keeps crashing and i don't know what to do i am sorry about that <laughs> 
you should charge probably mods yeah it's probably a lot of mods um you could try by pulling out one mod at a time that usually is really helpful um just so you can kind of troubleshoot and find out which one is the problem mod let's see you should charge a minimum patreon sub you've done so much work to release it free yeah you know I, i've had a lot of comments about that over the last few days since we put out this video and um i i appreciate that i think we both really appreciate that but i think it was just more for like the community mm -hmm. and from the beginning i've been wanting to do this map and i recruited dakar to come help me like about a year ago now and we've always just wanted to be able to offer it for free and i know the third version as i mentioned earlier in the faq is technically paid um, but this is just a temporary option for everybody if you don't want to wait um, you definitely don't need to do this at all and i think it's just the main goal here is really just for everyone to be able to play and that's why we we did want to put mods in our linear version also but the whole goal is that even console players people that aren't comfortable they've never modded a game before everybody can enjoy the game you know um can enjoy the world so that's kind of the main goal here yeah um, infinite health stuff doesn't wear down so what what happens with infinite health is it's not actually infinite health it's it's like something quadrillion or whatever some some large number and so technically speaking it is still going down in the background and when you work with larger builds like this where you do have you know 15 to 25,000 instances in an area it can add up but uh we have recently um Dakar just showed me recently oh no that's a discord invite link that I pasted <laughs> um I was gonna show him the code should I show him the code for it yeah sure okay yeah so um... let's see there is a code here i can show you really quick so if you didn't know dakar is a bit of a wizard <laughs> and he comes up with all sorts of things that this is a great example of it so you can see right here um you've got hammer object which is something to do with infinity hammer um it's it's a mod function and then you can see health is negative one so it's actually going to set the health to negative one using this wear and tear feature and um i don't know you, you can explain this better than i can i don't know why i'm explaining this uh if you want to i mean you, you you pretty much got it bang on um yeah okay, there's nice. just two parts to it it's setting overall health to negative one and then it's also setting the the wear and tear health to negative one the wear and tear health just governs what the piece looks like whether it looks new or damaged or broken um and because we're setting the health to negative one, the game doesn't want to damage it because as far as the game's concerned, it's destroyed and doesn't need to be damaged. Yeah. But it's not. Right. So it's it's kind of just a way that we figured out how to get around uh, the old infinite health feature and still get the benefits of infinite health, which means no iron beams, iron poles. And um, exactly. Yeah. So it's kind of a lot of things going on there, but that should answer all of those questions let's see are we missing anything if we missed your question um you know definitely don't <laughs> spam us but feel free to post your question again after a few minutes uh we'll try to keep up with everything so impressive can't wait to play thank you very much let's see try to make sure oh, i see some people are trying to help out somebody who's having some trouble thank you for doing that really appreciate the vision and effort behind all this to revitalize thank you let's see yeah there can we see it thank you zen just trying to say thank you for as i know as we reacted to the video we were kind of freaking out <laughs> massively yeah massively honestly we didn't really i mean this has just been something that the two of us have been working together on off and on for a long time now and it's just been you know we even had we had some comments of people saying like oh you just copy pasted builds but they you know it's a lot more than that we did bring in some builds um but you know these builds have all been modified they've all been you know worked on themselves the r d for that takes a lot of time and like you know it's just been so much time put into this we're just like incredibly incredibly thankful that somebody as big as asman and somebody like gathalian can be involved in this and can help us get the word out so the most people can enjoy it especially while we're all waiting on ashlands too which is you know just 
we're all you know excited about that and you know in the meantime maybe we can put out an awesome adventure map that we can all enjoy hopefully awesome but mm -hmm. yeah um made sure to sub to you and dakar absolutely yeah if you guys are not already sub to dakar definitely would recommend doing that i'm gonna actually put his channel really quick let me switch to hey it. thank you i had it up but i accidentally oh whose channel is this hello person copy so yeah Definitely, if you haven't subbed to Dakar, absolutely would recommend. This guy is an absolute legend. Um, Too kind. <laughs> and I honestly, I could not have done it without him, guys. So, you know, we were all freaking out. Yeah, you can see Genesis Digital there. He said we were all freaking out. We were definitely all freaking out together. He is yeah. um, part of gathalian's discord um an admin I, I believe and so he's kind of he's he's the one of the top people working on the rpg version and if if you guys want we might bring him in a little bit to talk about the rpg version um and yeah we'll just see how the questions go and everything uh the reason it's opportunity count because of those builds exactly that's a good way to say it too is like the reason this is even an opportunity is because of the fact that Dakar and I have just been making Valheim build videos, right? And just kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, growing our channels and having fun playing Valheim. And, and, you know, like you can look at builds like this, which took a long time for us to get to the point to be able to like learn how to do this stuff. And if we hadn't gotten there, you know, we wouldn't have been able to even make the world. So I think that's a big part of it. Um, it's a lot more than just for sure. copying. <laughs> Okay. There was a question asking how the blueprints worked. Um, how did the blueprints I think it's work? probably better if you show right show okay. that from your end, since so they can see it. Yeah. Um, okay. So blueprints, you guys might have seen in the video. Like, you know, it's tricky with some of the higher level stuff we're doing and putting it in a video like the one that we put out. Um, it's hard to actually really show it uh, quickly but basically you can just see if i just do hammer underscore save actually here let me go ahead and you can see let's select this bridge yeah there we go and then i can do hammer underscore save and i can name it anything and i am typing over this bridge and you can see actually if i switch over to hammer blueprint bridge i already have like what 10 different bridges here saved um that i was referencing throughout the project so you'll want to check like what you've already done and then you could just hammer save and bridge 20 or something like that right and then if i clear my hammer and i'm somewhere else later on i can then just hammer blueprint bridge 20 and then there's the bridge and so that's kind of like a simple answer to that uh there's multiple types of blueprints there's also uh let's see area blueprints so with area blueprints i can actually get like the nature involved like the rocks and the the stumps and logs and stuff so you know you can kind of get more of it but i mean like i guess that's really it on blueprints um full MMO aspect of this mod quite should be available for people to download also yeah so that is will the full MMO aspect of this mod collection be available for people to download so the mod pack itself is already free and you can hop into Catalian's discord and get information on that um, but the world that goes along with that uh, like I said a minute ago we'll see if uh by like january if that's going to be available in a single player version um that is part of the let's see valheim that is part of the faq which is here so speaking of the faq what else did we have here um where will the final build be announced so our linear version will be announced in my discord and also in dakar's discord so if you guys 
aren't already a part of them, I definitely would recommend hopping into our Discord so that you can get those announcements. Let's see. Create invite. Um, here in just a minute, I'm going to take you guys around and give you a little sneak peek of some of the locations. But I just want to get a lot of these questions answered um, right off the bat. Let's see. If there was anything from the video you want to see more of, pop it in the chat and we'll uh, mm -hmm. we'll maybe take you there for a closer look. Yeah, came here literally a minute after watching the Asthma vid. That's awesome. Don't know yet. Is we be able to build or is it just an adventure map mode? Nice work, by the way. I wish you could have participated in the building of Valheim. Um, so yeah i mean for our linear version it's really an option how you want to do it here i'll go ahead and pull up the faq again because i've actually answered this you can see number seven on the faq i'll leave it up for a minute um basically how our linear version works is you know it's a curated valheim playthrough from beginning to end of the game so you'll load in at the world spawn right here where we're standing and you'll be able to play through all the locations that we've set out in this world. It's like 35 locations. And as you go through these locations, we will have it set up so that you will not need to, you know, you can see on the last sentence of, of number seven, uh, throughout the experience, you will never have to mine, hunt, or create any builds unless you want to, because everything you need, you will find along the way, um, as long as you don't miss anything. So, that's the thing is like we do have some things that are kind of sneakily off of paths and like out in the woods um some easter eggs and things like that so you'll want to be attentive while you're playing but um it's completely like a do whatever you want kind of thing and you definitely don't need to do any building but you know if you're having a lot of fun with your friends and you don't want to rush through it in a few evenings or one long session then yeah you could totally stop and set up buildings like right next to a town and live there for a while and do whatever you wanted um, or even rip the interiors out of one of our buildings and mm -hmm. make it your own absolutely like so i've got some plans that i've been making today i actually haven't been meaning to talk to dakar we haven't even talked about this particular thing yet but i think we'll have uses for the three buildings here in the meadows town but a lot of the other towns we will not be able to use all of the interiors like we're not going to have stuff for every building so we'll probably stage them you know as a village like kind of house something that's being lived in but it won't necessarily need to be there so you can go ahead and get rid of everything in there and move, just move into houses you know it's it's really kind of whatever you want to do now for the rpg live server version that's a little different um i'm not really sure i think you can build anywhere right the car i think yeah i believe um, so right yeah so i think for that you can build anywhere also there are some areas on you know for example one of the reasons why it might be a little difficult to create a single player rpg version is because they're able to with the mods they're using kind of set up areas that are locked and can only do certain things like in this area you can't open chests in this area you can't open doors kind of like they have like crazy ward powers um in a way you could say and so because of that uh there are some areas you can't build but yeah, I think you could build really in both versions. What's the player cap in this mod map so that the raid party should be big? Yeah, so for the server, I think they've raised they've raised it to like a, a hundred people, right? Like a hundred people yeah. can be on the server. Yeah, so a hundred people I think can be on the server at once. Obviously, they're tweaking stuff over time, and um, you know, I. I don't know um, exactly how it's going to be with a hundred people in one area fighting a boss, but it didn't really in in the video when I said that it was more uh, implying just a raiding party, you know, just a group of people. So instead of going to fight bosses alone, like you could pull off in a normal Valheim playthrough if you're an experienced player and you have the right gear. Um, instead, you'll be going with a few people um, at, at least. Player cap. People started to make adventure maps from Minecraft. Yeah, totally. I could definitely see some similarities there. Kudos to you and the team. Thank you, thank you. Came here after Asmund's vid. That's awesome. Valheim really needs a performance mod like Optimi Optifine for Minecraft. I know, an Optifine would be so cool in Valheim. 
possible for the towns to be no build zones then you can purchase a plot of land to build with quest points you know i saw that actually somebody commented that on my video and it's a really cool idea i like plots of land it's not something i don't think is currently being worked on but i will pass that on to atlas atlas if you're here uh yeah he's still here genesis digital yeah, he's there. yeah that's honestly man i <laughs> it's a cool idea it's you know it's a really i don't know how you would you know have those for like for sale and do you rent them or lease them or like do you build and like i, I don't know how it would work but that sounds you really could cool. you could ward them and then have some kind of like quest mechanic to remove the ward you know you pay 100 gold ward gets destroyed or ward gets transferred to your ownership i don't know right. that's a problem for him to think about yeah that's yeah he'll have to figure that out um so yeah, I, I did just want to show you guys as you come up the little uh, stairs up here across this bridge. This is going to probably be where you can get some some quests here in the Meadows Town and Wanderer's Rest. And as you come in right here at the front desk, you might have seen in the video, there was a guy standing right here and he was giving out quests. And so hopefully you guys will be able to come right here, grab some quests and then head on your way and go complete, you know, you know, bring him back 10 deer skins or something like that. Um, it could be a bunch of different things, but I'm also hoping that this is kind of a place where you could meet up with friends. Um, you know, there's like a little kitchen here. You can see you're in the meadows. So in the kitchen, you only have wooden cooking stations because each of the cities is supposed to kind of be in order, right? So here in the meadows, you're not really supposed to have like, um, like an oven and, and a melt, uh, cooking pot and everything like that. But yeah, hopefully this is a place where you can meet up and um, kind of hang out with friends and plan a little journey out into the wild. Um, you can go upstairs even, and there's beds up here where you could sleep. Although I'm not really sure how sleeping is going to work on the RPG version. I do know that Dakar and I are going to have to figure out for the linear version how sleeping is going to work. So how you guys can make save points like in each of the towns and not have to completely go back to world spawn every time you die because that would suck um we'll, <laughs> we'll have to talk a little more about our plans for the linear map in a bit but mm -hmm. we will have to do that in a minute let me switch back over to valheim capture <clears throat> if asmund plays the map it'll get huge attention is it possible to play through this downloaded and not on a server? Yeah, so the linear version is just downloaded, you know? Um, the, the linear version is not, uh, you know, you don't need a live server. You don't need mods. It's it's nothing like that. Um, but a Asmund actually said he's really interested in the RPG version. So he, he's into MMOs and stuff. So we'll have to see, you know, maybe, maybe he'll try both. We'll just have to see what he does. Um, testing the mods was already a blast. The map is going to be so crazy. Nice, nice. This stuff is cool. Hi, bros. Hi. How is performance going to be? So, yeah, we've already talked about performance a couple times, but, um, yeah, we've got a lot of ways where we're working to keep performance good, and performance should be really good on the map. Uh, in the linear version, it'll definitely be really good. Server version, it should be really good, but it's obviously a little bit more tricky. Um, private rooms available. And just to add to that, to mm -hmm. give you a bit of a baseline, um, <clears throat> my internet is very bad. And as you might be able to hear, I'm from the UK, nine bytes from the US, and here we are. We're, uh, we're yeah. in the same server together with the, all these builds around. So right. just fine. That's not the, the not the most conclusive evidence, but it's uh, a good indicator. Yeah, and I think actually they should be able to see. Um, you should be able to see. It's really tiny, but my stream overlay on the top right, my FPS is up at all times. So. You can watch that as we go to each of the locations and you can see yourself right now. I don't think it's dipped below 30 and I'm getting all the way up to 60 FPS right here in the middle of uh, one of the main towns. So it's pretty honestly some pretty good performance. Um, found you randomly while looking for Valheim builds. You guys are a huge information. Much love to all. Much love, dude. Thank you. Thank you. You could have private rooms available. I did something like that on a private server once. Yeah, I don't know how that would work. Is the server public or only pay uh so the server is through gathalian's twitch if you're a twitch subscriber you'll be able to uh join the rpg server quick question is the oh yeah i just read that is there any chance to build or craft anything that keeps enemies permanently away from my base 
I don't want to get a 24-7. I think that's just a general Valheim question. That would just be um uh, there's a lot of things. You can you can use wards, mm -hmm. uh, you can use fires, crafting tables, uh, crafting benches or workbenches. There's, there's a lot of things that will keep enemies from spawning um near your base. If yeah. you check when, out my... when you pull out the Go ahead. I'm sorry. You, I was just going to say, when you pull out the workbench, you'll see a white ring around it. And that's a very rough estimate of how much area it will block spawns in. So a few items fall into this category, workbenches, fires, things like that, wards. So if you have those distributed around your base, it will stop enemies from spawning there, even ones that come from a raid. Um, and then beyond that, the... Enemy AI is, is not that clever. Um, so, for instance, you could build something like this, and if Ninebite was an enemy now, he would not be able to come and attack me. Mm -hmm. um, because he would not be able to figure out how to get past these stairs. Yeah, so you can get clever with raising ground, lowering ground, simple simple walls and things, um, you know, and then you just have to, to repair the walls or whatever. There's definitely a lot you can do. Uh, if you check out my um, island safest base, island fortress build, you can actually see exactly how I really took advantage of uh, building out on an island. And honestly, just some walls on an island is really the safest thing you can do in Valheim. It's very easy. There's a lot of islands in Valheim, and I would highly recommend that if you want to avoid um, pretty much everything. Um, will all structures from the mod be indestructible yeah so everything should be indestructible i don't really think we have anything at the moment that needs to be able to be destroyed so yeah at the moment it looks like it is it possible to the rpg yeah, save we'll... the player experience i oh yeah so the, we're gonna keep getting the question for the rpg single player experience so you can see i do have um i do have an faq in my discord highly recommend uh checking that out but you can see right here on this FAQ, um, you know, you, uh, let's see. If, will there be a version that's downloadable with the mod pack uh, without it being connected to the server? It depends. We'll, mo we'll know more in January. Uh, it's a little bit complicated, but yeah, we're definitely hoping to have something like that for you guys. Um, let's see. Switch back over to here. So maybe we should take them to some location, show them around a little bit. Let's do it. You pin your Discord. I mean, we could. Uh, chat. I suppose okay. we've we've shown a little bit of round today. You've just been free flying, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. As you explained, yeah, this is the the Wanderer's Rest, and kind of the inspiration behind it was in in all of these games, your Skyrim's, your World of Warcrafts. There's always that first town you get to really nice still homely place and you're dealing with bringing people 10 leather and finding the missing cat and all of that sort of stuff so those were the vibes we wanted to give off mm -hmm. i think um yeah it was really nice starting off with a town in the meadows just good vibes in the meadows you know just a little river right coming right through the middle um some bridges you know a few oak trees here and there kind of scattered around um should we take him to next i have to be careful not to pull mm. up the map i don't want to spoil anything for you guys i know some of you probably maybe wouldn't care but i know that some people probably would so i don't want to pull up the map hello nine by in chat you could get to the hello, black hello. forest town you want to go black forest town okay um, go there or plains town we could definitely someone was asking about the chains actually in the plains town so we could get to the plains town and have a look at those okay yeah let's head over to the plains town so i'm going to quickly go into my slideshow okay so that i don't dox our map <laughs> <laughs> I need to get some water. <clears throat> All right, there we go. So let's see. Valheim. We are now in the Plains Town. Magic. 
So the Plains Town is. Let's see. Can I pin a message? I. It won't let me pin the message. Um. Timestamps, blah blah chat. Do you know how to do that, Dakar? I actually don't know how to do that. Hey, I, no, I'll have a look. Okay. What's going on, Hardbringer? Uh, go get hydrated. Yeah, let me <laughs> let me grab some water really quick. Um, yeah, you go ahead. It'll take literally two seconds. Yeah, so to the person who was asking about the chains, scroll up, see if I can find that. Uh, Drake Neal. Uh, Nail, even, sorry. Uh, yes, they are custom built. They are made from the one meter wood poles using a, a mod called Gizmo, which lets you rotate pieces on any axis, which is very handy. Are you talking about the chains? <clears throat> yes, sir. Yeah, so the chains, these are a spawn of Takar's crazy building Valheim mind he came up with some pretty awesome stuff like he said he uses gizmo so he's able to get a lot more angles in the game to work with and so that's why um he can take a regular piece and make some pretty awesome stuff um let me see if i can get into the middle of the town and then just hop into a free fly cam for everybody real quick this actually turned out to be one of my favorite towns probably my, possibly my favorite town um from the fingers but honestly really the chains kind of bring it all together uh if you start down here i could just go from bottom to top real quick with the free fly cam we've got mm. all the way down at the bottom oh you can't see it because i am too far pardon me while i fly really quick we've got a boathouse so you can arrive by boat you can arrive by road this road right here connects all the way back to the meadows town we were just at the roads everything is connected um which is pretty cool this comes up the hill to a nice little staircase and then let me um hop back into the free fly cam and you can see right over here where Dakar is standing this is kind of like where you come into the town and you can head up to the top of the finger and go up there and look around um, as I showed in the video, you guys might remember the shot where I kind of zoomed forward here and showed that you can look down to the lower plains. Um, spin back around real quick. And then you can actually just follow the street and head all the way up. So right now, currently, all these buildings are empty. There's no interiors, but... We'll definitely have at least one or two of the interiors for like something you need to collect or um you know an npc or something or or loot that you need to gear up to get to the next um boss and actually be able to fight them for the linear version each town you'll go to you'll be gearing up so you can get ready for that next boss fight I'll drink a little water Okie dokie, what you want us to put only up in the map as well. Is that what that game was called? Only up? <laughs> yeah. I think I've seen that, yeah, where you like jump and you can fall all the way back down. Yeah, okie dokie said you should put a random extremely tall spiral staircase somewhere as an easter egg and Asman would most definitely climb the whole thing. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, you can actually go and check out all these little flying or like floating things in the chains. Pretty cool. There's also a very secret location here. Which yeah. We probably don't want to give any more information away, but there's a little clue for you. Yeah, I, I think I've shown enough here. Um, so... Yeah, and actually, I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe if you made a floating base in the Mistlands, what form will be shared or distributed? A mod pack map. So, yeah, um, 
like I said before, man, I really wish I could figure out how to do this pinned comment thing. Um, but I don't know how. Yes, you can build on this if you want. Um, I am not going to spoil it. Don't worry about it, Genesis. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, as far as the how can you download this? Um, let's see. I've got an FAQ in my Discord, so you'll definitely want to just uh, go check that out if you're looking for more information. I don't want to keep saying the same thing over and over for the people that have been here for a little bit. Um, but yeah, what is going to be the next location that we show them? So we've talked about different versions, FAQ, linear version. Yeah, I definitely want to talk a little more about the linear version at some point, but um, we can keep exploring. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I guess I could also mm -hmm. show them whoa, whoa, at different times of day. Um, yeah, so. you could do uh, ENV Heathclair as well. Oh, that's not a bad idea Get at all. The plains weather. So you can see, just in case you're visiting at night, this is... I really love this town. It's kind of vibes, you know, with the little lanterns up and the little floating things and the fingers and everything. Let's do uh, in the Heath Clear. Yeah, there we go. Really love how this town came out. Yeah. Yeah, you, you took my very substandard background builds, made them beautiful, and uh, made something. <laughs> I didn't tell them those were your, yours. You didn't have to tell them. <laughs> hey, it's fine. I'll own up to it. Those were, uh, those were background props. And, yeah. yeah. Actually, you, you made something out of them. Yeah, that was really fun. Let's, let's, you know what? Oh, I don't want to show them the map. You didn't see that? It was zoomed in, so it's fine. <laughs> But let me take them and show them off the edge of the world. Let me let me show them that. Hell yeah. Um, because if we haven't... Ads will run shortly for some viewers. Nah, we'll skip them. We'll skip them. Um, okay. Who needs ads? We don't, we don't need those. We don't need those. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to quickly put you guys on the slideshow so that I can actually use the map for a long period of time. Obviously, if you want to go back in the VOD and see where I opened the map there for like one second, you could totally do that. It's just a little portion of it, but it's up to you. You know what I mean? Like if, if you want to know what the map is, that's up, you know, it's, I think it'll be more. Don't ruin it for yourself. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ruin it for yourself, but it's, you know, it's totally up to whatever, like the experience you want to be. So, um, but I'll, over here on the edge of the world, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. Uh, we've got, oh, I should probably actually <laughs> clear the weather. Um, this is where we've done all of the, the extra work, like, off the side of the world. And this is going to be really funny, trying to stream this. Some of this is very instance heavy. So, you can see, I mean, some of these parts, guys, I got, <laughs> I couldn't even show in the video because... I couldn't, like, the the frames were so low, it just wasn't, there was no point in putting in um, <laughs> clips from it, because it looked so bad. But you can see I actually brought in every single build that I've ever done on the channel, and we just chose the builds we wanted, um, we separated parts of the builds, and you can see over here the reason why I even brought this up. This was Dakar's original build, this is actually already um, stepped up a little bit. I don't know where the other version is. Oh, you know what? I moved it over... I don't know where I moved it. But yeah, I took his original build and just kind of made a bunch of fun little versions of it. And I think we ended up using like four of them in the Plains Town. And yeah, you could just see here. I'll hop into FF Smooth. It looks a little better. Needs to give you... Genesis, do I need to give you the build graveyard version? Hmm. That's actually... I didn't realize I hadn't. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, you could just see that. I think it's. Hmm. What's up? I I was just trying to remember if I I mean I assume he doesn't have that otherwise he wouldn't say he needs it. Yeah, but... I thought it was, but I guess it makes sense because if we had because your version was gonna go eventually to the the RPG server, so uh, but I can send it to you for sure. Um, but yeah, these are kind of like what what I ended up doing with just taking a very simple build and just kind of like um just giving it a little bit of some extra details you know if you've seen my videos before you know that i always talk about depth and uh, i use a lot of tudor style where the second floor is sticking out over the first floor i like to use a lot of chimneys um you know with the roofs i always try to take the roofs and make them feel a little more realistic by sticking them out over the edge of the build so you can see that right there um but yeah We have a release date. Pop Pocket. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> Pop Pocket was just asking what the instance count was in a uh, in the middle of that area, and I think at the worst it's about a hundred k. Yeah, I think I think it's it's. I can't check the map, so I can't bring you to the worst part. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, right here we're only sitting at around forty-seven. I think I saw us for a second. Yeah, fifty thousand around. Um. But I mean, it's it's about 100k in the worst of it. So it's just, you know, you're getting like 10 frames at best. Oh yeah, it's still counting up here. So what are we at? 63,000. Yeah, it's still going. I'll just stand here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie asks, what is the meta something? Brackets wizard. The meta voker. Um, oh. It's a pretty weird class. It's kind of to do with reality manipulation teleporting pure light that kind of thing and yeah we have a pretty funky uh location for that one i don't we think do. we want to show it off yet no but, not that uh, one yeah, yeah. Fun. if you want to see that one you'll have to get the uh the world download because that one we kind of you know that's one of the other reasons why i've offered like the ultimate membership version of it right now because it's like if you really want to see it i didn't want to put out the video and have no way for you to see it but um the only reason you know one of the main reasons is like if we put it behind a paywall now a lot of people won't check it out and that's what we want we want you guys to see the finished awesome version when it's really ready uh, but if you really want to you can go check out the metavoker in that version and it's pretty crazy we've got some kind of cool uh i don't know how would you even call it, like technology in it <laughs> um but yeah you can see there's 67,000 instances here i don't know where the most dense area yeah. is i'll just start flying for a second i apologize it's gonna be a little framey um i wish i could check the map that would help i think i actually went less stuff this is a bunch of dakar stuff over here all of his fancy gizmo stuff do you care if I show up this stuff? Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Nice. Okay. It's got like ballistas and stuff, which which we've got a few of these in the world, so you'll be able to see some of these. Um, we used this bridge a bunch. We used this bridge a bunch. Um, we used this actually in one of the areas couple times can we add a giant statue of Kermit the frog <laughs> probably not but good idea good idea um, didn't get to use these satellites but these things are really cool they didn't really fit in this world but I was I was trying to find a place for them. we did get a use out of this guy uh, this yeah. this over here was shown in the video. This is um, my old mountaintop castle build. This is the first big build I did for YouTube. And it's just kind of sitting here floating. This is a great example of how we build with infinite health pieces. So, you know, I mean, you can just... And it's also a great example of blueprints too, right? So I just brought in the blueprint right here. And um, yeah, it's just sitting here floating. And I was able to isolate different parts of this and then bring them over to here and give us a little area to kind of decide if we wanted to grab any of these things and work with them and um, kind of modify them or whatever. 
Let's see, I could go back this way. I want to see if we can find like the 100k spot for the statue of Barry. Will there be a private server version with working quests already set up? Um, yeah, so we've got that. <laughs> I know we're going to keep getting that question. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll know by January if we're going to be able to have a version of the like the fully modded RPG version uh, that won't be on the live server. We, we need to figure out some more things for now, but um, hopefully that will be a thing. Maybe like right here would be the most dense. I don't even know. The excitement around this are y'all inspired to add a dlc to the edges of the map or to, can you continue working on the project yeah absolutely we would love to keep working on the project um you know ashlands is going to be out in like seven months it'd be really cool to add more for ashlands whatever deep north comes out it'd be cool to update it uh we've even got a few locations already in mind that we'd like to add to what we've currently made so we just have to see on that how how um everything goes and if everybody likes it and what everybody thinks is the mod available for download so yeah the mod pack if you want information on that you can just head over to gathalian's discord and uh you can get information on the mod pack it's free you can you can already download it now and test it out and you know the, the mod pack itself is free to testing for real estate with all the players yeah i don't know how contesting for real estate is gonna go i i you know, with live servers, I'm sure it's kind of a, a balancing act. Um, you know, maybe they wipe every once in a while. They're going to have to figure out, you know, as they go, just like we're going to have to figure out as we go, how we want to continue to develop this. I mean, you know, we were hoping this would be something that was kind of big, but we had no idea it was going to do so well recently. So uh, mm. we'll just have to see, uh, I guess, you know, I don't know. Have you been approached by Coffee Stain Studios? Uh, have they shown any interest in the project? Not that I know of. Um, I don't know if they've shown any interest. I hope they've seen it. I hope they they're happy with it. Um, you know, it's uh, you know they they've said in the past that they're cool with people modding the game and everything. So I'm sure that they're okay with it. But I have not had any direct contact with anybody. I'd love to though. If if any of them or any devs or anybody is watching right now, hit me up, email, Discord. Come say hello and talk to us if you want and uh, work with us. For sure. I don't know, you know, yeah, that'd be fun. Jer has some amazing tools for refreshing resources on servers. Exactly. So that that already exists. That infrastructure already exists. So. You know, I don't think real estate would be that big of a problem. Uh, I'm sure it's something that they could actually work on and reset and everything um, periodically. But there should be three dots next to your send message in chat if you hover over it. And one of the options should be to pin nine by. Yeah, I know. I, that's what's weird is like everybody else has three dots and I can pin the message. But when I put the message in, I can't. Actually, you know what, Dakar, if you don't mind, could you put... Um... I tried and I did not have uh well i don't think i can pin oh i can't pin yours but i can put the link in yes yeah, that's what i'm saying yeah let me see if i can pin yours and and we'll see um um can you send me the is it just uh yeah you send me the link so sure. i can get it right I am getting a phone call. From a builder's perspective, what was the hardest challenge you faced when putting the world together? Hmm. Hardest challenge. That's a tough one to answer. Um, we win. Message pay. Nice. Success. <laughs> What, what do you hardest? think? What was the hardest challenge we faced? Putting the world together. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can answer that question. A couple days spent yeah. making the roads was very tedious. The first week spent mm -hmm. getting blueprints and breaking them all up was also very tedious. But um, 
I don't know. I think the volume of work overall, you know, yeah. you, you, you put it pretty yeah. pretty uh, well in the video. There was a lot to get done. It's it, Yeah, it was a ridiculous amount of stuff to get done. And I, I think it's something that, you know, we had some comments saying like, you, you know, oh, well, you know, it only took you like a month or two to do it. But what in reality, you know, we've been working on this for a year and we've been planning it and all of these builds had their own R&D time and you know, then bringing them in and even just planning it all took a lot of time. And, you know, recently and throughout the year, you know, it's just, it was a lot of time, a lot of time. And then just the sheer volume of actually, you know, working, there were a lot of, lot of hours worked in about a month, month and a half span. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I, I will say the most fun thing we built was by far the pirate town. I think we were both just like ecstatic 100%. the whole time. <laughs> Um, the pirate down was just so much fun. Um, I, I don't yeah. know. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and show them. Take you guys over to the pirate area. And you can see... What's going on with that? We've got the treehouse here. Um... Okay, yeah. So this is when we get over to the pirate area so you can see let me bring you to what i actually did what i actually showed you guys in the video so yeah this is what i showed you guys in the video uh, there was a nice shot of this right here um we started off with some like kind of concept pictures we found online i did some ai imagery for some inspiration and you can see dakar went ahead and used gizmo he's got some pretty awesome like like perfectly done kind of what well, you know i don't want to say perfect we're gonna get railed for saying perfect <laughs> but i mean you know just i i don't work with gizmos so i can't uh here you can see the difference actually so i made a ship and this is what it looks like which is still pretty cool but i only needed you know a half of a ship so that i could then like combine it into a house and i made like a ship house uh which i'll show you in a second which turned out really cool but if you if you're going for accuracy you you really have to be a gizmo builder where you can do so many angles and you can get curves that you just can't do without gizmo and so that's what you can see over here in dakar's kind of workshop area where we were building so, up some initial um designs and then we had an idea to use like kind of a ship's hull as like the roof of a building so this is what he's working on here he made this and then i'll show you how it all combined right so he made the, the ship hole for the roof. I started working on like ship houses. Uh, you can see right here, we've got like the first concept of the ship house. Then I built my entire ship house here, which is you can see it all together. You've got like a ship kind of going straight through the middle of the house. But then I took his ship hole and designed up some new kind of like Tudor style kind of looking houses and put it under the ship hole did a few versions until it came out to here i hope this all makes sense um but yeah just kind of like you saw this shot in the video here where i kind of just did a quick spin around of this and this came out really nicely i think in the pirate area itself because it's kind of backed up into some rocks and so you've got your two like workshop houses and you come back into the workshop and you've got kind of the gizmo ship which is like a really nicely shaped ship um, you've even got like a scaffolding which you can go up and you know work on the different uh, levels of the ship and everything and um, and yeah pretty cool and you can see here is Dakar's like full ship I don't know if the full ship is actually here um, it might not have the front on it on yeah I don't, right I think oh you know what I wonder Hold if it's on back. I, I, I wonder if it's on the opposite side oh here it is nice this here i didn't think it was oh, sweet yeah so this is like dakar's finished like ultimate giant ship which you guys saw right at the end of the video i love this development process thank you dude good to see you man i um this this um ship this is like a perfect example of dakar's like gizmo genius i i always give this dude props because i can't like I, I without without extra angles and stuff you know i could try to do something like this but this is where you know like i mean this is just incredible to me like i i don't know i think i think 
Um, that's wow. that's another thing I didn't get to say in the video. Um, if you don't mind me saying really quick, like the two of us together doing this project was was honestly the key to the whole thing. I don't think either of us could have done this alone, but together we were able to kind of put our skill sets together and you know just you know kind of get it all done. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you couldn't have said it better. I 100% agree. Oh, what's inside the ship? You can see what's inside the ship here. I'll show you. So you go right under the set of tables and it goes here and then down below it's just hollow. Oh, this makes me want to show them the ship island so bad right now. <laughs> we actually, we have it on the list. Hey, we could. Yeah, let's show them. Yeah. All right. If you guys are cool with, uh, w wait, actually, let me show them one more thing. Let me show them, um, the variations of this house right here while we're here so you guys might have seen this shot in the video this is where i took apart the viking um, tavern build and basically made a bunch of different versions so this this was kind of for the development of this it was like here's my original build um and the original build i started taking off pieces of it right so i could see you know what what does this build look like without certain elements and so you can see i started just like uh it might be kind of hard to tell what i took out on each of these chunks but if you look like from the biggest one and then i just like scan right over to here you can see how much smaller this guy is so by the time i got around to here i've like chopped out the whole middle of the building and the sides and stuff and created a much smaller version um and in the end i ended up sticking with these three guys right here which you definitely already saw in the video car if you saw the video or that ship from the home workshop etc yeah we, <laughs> we we could definitely put some stuff on the inside of the ship um yeah we've just done version kind of one captain's on courses mm-hmm maze balls nice i left some room for cannons to go so uh if uh mm -hmm. pamphlets plus cannons in the mod pack you know they can go in here yeah some cannons that'd be awesome since the linear build will not have mods will there be quests and the cool raid boss stuff so <clears throat> yeah the uh i've got an faq pinned uh in the chat here you can check out the faq and if you go to that faq in my discord you'll see number seven is where I, I describe exactly how the linear map works but essentially yeah no mods uh but we will be taking you through a linear curated valheim playthrough you'll play through all the bosses we'll have all the loot you need at all the locations you'll be getting it and then you'll make your gear at towns and you'll go and you'll fight the next boss which will be super amped up um, but no, it won't be quests because it's a linear Valheim playthrough instead of like an RPG world This is like basically just taking you through a Valheim playthrough um, Kind of like in a long line going through everything Let's take them to the pirate island Yeah, all right put you guys back on the image slideshow really quick so that I don't show you the map shipwreck island <clears throat> so i actually did show a few little shots of this in the video um let's see i think i'm just gonna do ff smooth for this oh man this thing came out so cool so coming over from just showing you guys let me put this on just showing you guys dakar's ship you can see this is shipwreck island so dakar did some super fancy stuff here with some i mean i guess you could just say some commands just to simplify it and yeah he was able yeah. to kind of add you know like a weathering effect uh when it rains you know it kind of weathers pieces in valheim so he was able to kind of like mass apply that and kind of like take apart the ship itself and you know angle it with gizmo to kind of create this feel like the ship was like almost beached on this island out in the ocean um and you might also notice that there's a bit of some floating pieces which may or may not be some kind of activity to do here no comment 
<laughs> um, but yeah, will the creator, will the creator events be tough? I play on Comfy Valheim a lot, and their dungeons are pretty wild. Just wondering if it would be like a, the create. I'm not sure what the creator events are. Day and night cycle will just have to persist, basically. Then it takes visible for everybody to be in a. Yeah, I know. That's what that's what I was I was wondering too. I'm not sure how they're gonna do that for the live server. How they're gonna do sleeping. Don't see the pinned FAQ. Just a pinned Discord link. Yeah, it's a pinned Discord link. When you join my Discord, I've got a whole text channel um, for the FAQ. Sorry, I'm a bit of a noob with streaming. I'm not trying to get you to join my Discord to <laughs> check out the FAQ. I just don't know how to do it any other way. Um, that looks so beautiful. Thank you. Uh, but this is... I'm going to have to give the credit for this one to Dakar. Um, the island's pretty cool here too. I'll go ahead and pop out of the free fly cam. The island's pretty cool. So we've got a couple of these little guys, these little ships kind of floating up on the shore too. But we've also got, um, oh wait, it's on the other island. We've got just kind of like a little bit of like a little campfire out here. Just like, um, this is another thing that we were able to do by the way, is like using some commands. You can see when you hover this fire, you don't have the ability to put uh wood in the fire obviously you know the water's here but you don't have the ability to put wood here because this fire will go infinitely and so we've got a way to you know lighting is not a problem in this world you might be wondering like okay if it's nighttime and i'm in one of the main towns like do we have to fuel up the torches you do not have to fuel up the torches um the the torches are infinite so there's no worry there at all did I just see free gold on the ship, dude, for free? <laughs> there may be some loot around the ship, and I am now going to cut off your privileges. <laughs> <laughs> I think they might have been on to us. All right, where should we show them next? Let's figure out where we should show them next. Um, Ranger Treehouse? Ranger Treehouse, that's not a bad idea. I'll put you guys back on the image slideshow just for a second so I can navigate the map real quick. Uh, I Like, I really want to show you guys the map. I mean, it's so cool how many locations we have on and everything, but it's just, it's one of those, like, spoiler things, you know? I, if I show you the map, you know, you kind of get an idea of it, and it just kind of ruins some of the fun. So I don't want to, don't want to do that. Much. I think we covered kind of like a lot of the topics we wanted to cover, but definitely, yeah, just if you guys have any questions, keep popping them in there and we'll try to answer anything. <clears throat> the Ranger Treehouse, let's see if I can get back. You saw nothing, Jelly Moan, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. I actually also showed them. Um, I, I'm completely failing at my job, too. I totally showed something, too, at the, <laughs> <laughs> the little thing. People are way too perceptive. I know, I did just show something else, too, by the ship, but it's totally fine. Um, did you guys do anything with the black marble and dwarven designs, or was that a bit too obvious to play with? Uh, if you mean, like, the stuff that's in the Mistlands, um, no, we did not, um, use any of those, like, those things. Um... But we did use some, like, ruin structures that are in the game, um, which, I mean, I guess we could we could show them, though. I showed that a lot in, in the video, so we could show them my, uh, my, my shaman thing. And that, that would give yeah. them a good, yeah. good idea of how we did use some little pre-built little ruins from the game. Why are y'all so talented? Thank you. You are too kind. It's exciting to know the map is amazing, but it's even better to know players will explore and be just as amazed. Yeah, I think that was the best thing about, you know, uh, watching Asmongold, like, the fact that he checked it out it was incredible. But it was, like, just watching him be really excited about it was really cool, too. Because I think, uh, you know, Dakar and I are just, we're just so used to seeing builds like this. And we've just played so much Valheim that um, it was really cool to see a person, like, uh, in enjoy it. Will the non-server version also have the NPCs? Mm. Will the non-server version also have the NPCs? I, I figured we were going to keep getting this question. I really, I knew that that was going to happen. <laughs> we're we're going to have some, like, simple NPCs. Um, but, yeah, most of the NPCs and the quests and stuff, that'll be on the RPG server. 
Uh, that's kind of the easy answer. But like I said, there is yeah. an FAQ in my Discord, the pinned comment, if you want to kind of check out the most uh, common questions. Just wanted to say that you're doing a huge work with this map. Really amazing. Keep it up. 100% admiration. Thank you. You are absolutely way too kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I gotta stop this. How many people on live server? At the moment, they're working on getting 100 people on there. Um, which, in the past, obviously, there's never been anything like that in Valheim. As far as I know, I, look, I better not say that because I might get in trouble. But as far as I know, there's never been that anything like that. So, yeah, hopefully 100 people is where it's going to be at. Um, for the single player version, linear version, obviously, it's unmodded and everything. So it'll be the normal cap of, I think, 10 people. Yeah. Um, is there any estimation on how long a playthrough will be? Now, see, that's a good question. And I was thinking about that today. And mm. I would like to talk a little more about the linear version for a little bit uh, at some point. And for that version, we don't have to do that now. But at least for that version, I will say it is a full playthrough, right? So it is every boss. And you're stopping by 35 locations in total. The boss fights will be harder. Every location like this location will have a lot to do. So, I mean, you can... I could, I, I would guess anywhere from a few hours to, you know, maybe 10 to 20 hours. I'm really not sure at the moment. I think, I think before I really yeah. like set, set anything into stone, I, I think we need to, to play it and I can get you guys some numbers on it. Yeah. It's very hard to give a true estimate because some people blow through the, the vanilla content and some people like to really take their time. And that's to some extent going to be the same, uh, with our version exactly so it it depends like earlier somebody was asking if they can build and if you want to build whoa there's my camera um if you want to build on this you absolutely can build on this and if that's the case maybe you want to stop in a town along the path and build and just survive for for you know 20 30 hours with your friends like and, and save the next boss and you could absolutely do that that's the cool thing about the linear experience and even the rpg experience it's like it's it's really up to you um How's optimization looking? Optimization is good. Optimization is very good. This is uh, 15,500 instances right here in the middle of this. And you can see on the top right, you should be able to see my Steam overlay. I'm at 60 FPS, down to 40 FPS, 37. So about 37 is going to be my low here. And, you know, all the way up to 60 FPS or so in a, in a very dense location. So, um, you know... We're, we're looking to be pretty good on the optimization. We know we, we've been building um, and just doing like Valheim build videos and stuff for a while, me and Dakar. So we had a pretty good idea of, of how much we could kind of shove into each area and not be miserable for everybody <laughs> in terms of performance. So <laughs> I think that worked out pretty nicely. So excited for this. You guys did so well. Thank you very much. Fun question. How many times did Dakar praise and or curse the Omniscia during this work process? Only praise. <laughs> we bask in his glorious light. Nice. Any Warhammer fans out there? <laughs> Great answers, boys. Love it. Hey, nice. We're out here trying. We uh we we have been really trying to keep up with the questions over the last few days. We I think, you know, I've already said it before in the stream and I'll say it again. We had no idea that so many people were gonna be so positive about it and we're extremely thankful for that. I invite your steam overlay isn't oh it's not on the stream okay thank you for time oh you know what i can fix that um i can definitely fix that display capture so yeah you should do an app uh figure x asked um for linear do you think it's good for co-op will be we be all right with items and such so yes we've discussed this and mm. We have some ideas to make it possible to be balanced for both single player and co-op groups mm -hmm. yeah so the balancing is tricky right so you know obviously we're creating a linear experience where you play through and you fight like amped up raid boss fights that are really hard and this for example i really want to explain how ranger outpost works but just to keep this thought going when you come in right here there's going to be a bunch of enemies you have to clear and so there is a there's a balance where we've got to figure out how one person 
can play through this but also a, a rate a group of 10 people that are playing together could play through this and it would still be fun both ways so we've got um some ideas in mind and over the next few weeks we're going to be balancing it basically mostly on the gear that you get right so as a single player you'll want to grab more of the better gear as a raiding party you'll want to skip a lot of the gear but it will always be optional of course you know if even if you're in a group of 10 people and you you just maybe you just want to have an easy experience and you're more in for it for like you know some beers and having some fun you know just just good vibes and you don't care about it being difficult then maybe you just want to grab all the best gear you know and so we'll have it set up to where you kind of have options to to be able to figure that out is it possible to solo everything absolutely you yes sh you should charge for this diablo 4 charging hundred dollars for their dlc is insane i know and when asmongold said that in the video uh, it was honestly it was really funny because i yeah i mean it's 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 free guys we you know i, I talked about it earlier when we started the stream we, you know dakar and i we decided from the very beginning it it, it should be free you know we, we think it'll reach the most people and the most people get to enjoy it in the valheim community if we make it free it's just that's why we want to do it unmodded um you know even console players can can play it it's it's more for everybody and you know if it, you know if if people want to tip they can tip or whatever that's uh, you know but i don't think either of us are kind of in the a position to like you know want to do this for money we just want we just want everybody to be able to enjoy it you know and um we're just really happy in that that Asmin Gold checked it out and that so many people found out about it. How will saving the game go just occupying a bed? Um, so yeah, saving the game, I mean, it's just normal with auto saves and everything. Uh, but if you mean like sleeping to set your spawn points, just like the gear and um, solo versus teams, it's kind of a thing where we will have places set up for you to sleep and set your spawn points so as you go through the map i keep wanting to pull up the map and i have almost done it so many times i'm not even kidding um here let me bring this over this is not the map this is a different map but essentially like let's say you start at world spawn and um you know you might follow the path around let's say you go up to here and up here uh we'll have like a town but from world spawn to that town you'll go through five different locations right and then your next spawn point will probably be in the main town but we still haven't decided if we want to have spawn points kind of along those routes to the towns too because we don't want it to be tedious right like we want this to be a fun experience and valheim by itself like its nature is hardcore and everything we get that but we don't want it to be so hardcore that you're dying and you're like miles from your friends and separating you're like okay guys wait up I'll, I'll catch up to you in an hour like you know i gotta remember oh there was a left here or right here i don't remember how to get to you kind of thing we don't want it to be that so uh i think there, there will be plenty of points to set up um spawn points i don't think that should be a problem can we have can we have the map as a save world file yes that's that is how we will uh, be giving it out when it is completed if you want it now before it's converted to a linear map or before it's in the rpg version uh you can become an ultimate member of my youtube channel and get the open world version right now can you build yeah you can build your own home you can build wherever uh, on the rpg version some of the areas in that server are locked off but um yeah you can build everywhere let's go ahead and show them the ranger outpost so as you enter the ranger outpost you'll see as you approach like you're coming like out of the woods on the road and the road continues to to go that way but as you approach you can see the ranger outpost is completely surrounded by uh rocks and things so this is kind of a sealed in location it actually hasn't even loaded in these rocks there you go there's some rocks over right here and right here and so you enter through the front gate and what you'll do is you'll immediately be faced with enemies here we'll be using enemy spawners um and that will allow people to um kind of clear out the area and um uh, will be i think i mean there's a lot to it but yeah they'll be able to clear out the area and move forward the idea here is that the original treehouse build you go and you follow this staircase up but as you can see we've got a little sign that says uh oh and there's no way to get there so the only way to get up is you've got to look around and figure out a way up 
and there may or may not be a jumping puzzle that leads you upwards and then you'll battle your way through the treehouse um, clearing your way through I don't want to show everything but you know if you've seen the treehouse video highly recommend checking out my treehouse video where I showed how I built this whole thing but um, you'll be uh, just kind of heading through this way if you don't mind the car if you could put the link to the treehouse video if they want to check that out um, oh. That would be amazing thank you because the treehouse video if you guys are going to play the linear version uh this actually has a an easter egg built into it kind of a little secret hidden on the side and it's a hint for the adventure map that's going to help you in the beginning of the adventure map find some extra loot so i highly recommend uh downloading that world and having some fun and you can go see the first things that we tested for the world and um yeah you can test out some really cool little puzzles and um find something cool or that'll help you out so yeah you can see we've got these big spiral staircases and they kind of navigate through the treehouse this goes across and this is the staircase that goes down but you can't jump up so this is actually the exit if you saw in the video i mentioned that a lot of places have one way to enter and only one way to exit right so it's the same thing here for this location you've got one way to enter and that's through kind of a jumping thing and then you've got only one way to exit which is back out uh this way which is the normal way to enter and yeah i don't know i mean um i don't want to like <laughs> run around that spiral staircase and blind you guys but i think you guys get kind of the point here i'll go ahead and just show you the parkour thing so you've got a nice little staircase over here and you go up and there's some harder jumps there's some easier jumps you shouldn't die here though you know a lot of these things you might die um but a lot of them are designed not really to kill you more to just kind of slow you down and give you some you know some things to enjoy and have some fun with um but uh yeah i don't know you want to add anything to car for the ranger outpost <clears throat> um nothing beyond what a cool build it is <laughs> yeah thanks this, this is a fun one. This is the final loot room over here on this side. You'll come over here and um, whatever loot we've decided for kind of getting you to the next location, that'll be right here. And so it'll probably be some type of gear. I think we'll end up deciding on um, probably an option between like a weapon or an armor piece or food. It's, you know, we've got to kind of figure that out. And then there's got to be a differentiation between like the size of your raiding party. So like solo five or 10 people or whatever, we've got to have some um, different kind of things. Oh, nice. I just noticed um, we got some, we got some members. Sweet. Yo, thank you for gifting memberships. I totally missed that. Thank you, Erlek. You are a legend, an absolute legend. Maybe inns and abandoned cabins with beds along the way. Exactly. That's that's kind of what I was thinking is if we need to add a lot of beds um, in between locations before you get to main towns, it'll it'll probably be stuff exactly like that. Just kind of like inns, ruins or something. And we'll just make sure there's 10 beds in every single one so that a full group of people could sleep. I'm sure people pay an extra amount to host their own servers where you can play multiple. I'm not sure what that means. I think it's along the same lines as the uh, can we host a full RPG as as a single player type thing. Um, which to answer, oh. we're not really sure. That's something we have to discuss with the rest of the team and, and see how it all works out on, on the technical side as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, we don't really have an answer for that at the moment. Um, stay tuned in the discords and I suppose that's the best way you'll get updated on that. Mm -hmm. um, somebody asked if they're if they've never played the game before will it be a hard look I you know if you're solo maybe but I mean if you grab all the best gear we have set up for you all the food um, you know it it shouldn't be too bad um, you know <laughs> I don't know it, it's it's hard to say because with Valheim you know the bosses you know they do get harder and harder right and i think you know especially with the queen like you know that's no joke so it might be a little difficult but it also might be a wonderful learning experience and a lot of fun so it really depends on your own you know subjective experience and um you know uh, but if you're completely new to the game though you 
yeah i mean you might want to just hop into a regular world and play for a couple hours just to get the gist of it um can't there wait. are a lot of very good tip videos out there for yeah. brand new players that yeah that's fine some great combat tip videos and stuff like that too you could check out happy to see somebody working on the game working hard on the game love it can't wait to play nice can't wait to share it honestly we're really excited to get this download out yeah. for everybody we've been literally working this off and on for a year so it's crazy to be so close to it being done it's it's really surreal to be honest with you um as a game dev of 25 years i have to congratulate you on all the incredible hard work i love all the designs i've seen so far i can't wait to play it yeah thank you so much um it's um yeah we've brought in a a lot of like stuff that we spent a lot of time working on and it's really nice to be able to see it all coming together um thank you very much mm. that's really cool that's like from a game dev that's kind of that's pretty cool any way to turn totems into spawn points or something for boss battles for temporary yeah i think at boss battles i think we haven't really figured that out to car you know i think we talked about that but you know maybe we'll put beds right outside of a boss fight like i said we don't want it to be a miserable experience um yeah you know sure. so it's we're gonna have to figure it out we also don't want it to be too easy so it's it, we'll, we'll have to find that balance um a lot of stuff will be optional yeah. too right like you know do you want to get this really good loot do you want to get this next set of gear or um you know maybe we'll have beds next to the the boss fight like do you want to use these beds or do you want to take the harder thing like and leave, use the old beds and you might lose a party member mid fight and you know that's just how it works you have to like you know everybody can play it their own way is is a cool part too but we'll try to come up with a, a defined set of things that gives you a really good guideline though and a really fun like dynamic experience deserve someone said it well in the chat earlier to make it challenging but not annoying and i think yes. that's the goal yes absolutely we got membership thank you thank you <laughs> that's funny um oh there's two daniel richardson have you both thank you first of all thank you so much for the donation you are an absolute legend um have you both thought about making your own game from scratch i love valheim it'd be so good to explore it in an rpg format thank you both uh, i've actually got a few questions about this over the last few days and you know i don't know i, I actually was joking to dakar saying like all right dude next step we got to make our <laughs> own game um but no i mean we, we realistically no that's uh we haven't but you know It'd be something really cool. I think we both really enjoy uh, a little bit of level design at this point, and we both really enjoy creating things and and in games. And so I don't know. We'll just have to see, you know, how this map goes and where we go from there. Uh, but yeah, I think we need to capture Jer first. You, what did you say, capture Jer? Yeah. Yeah. Have him do the code side of it. You know. That would be insane. We'll do the level design, that kind of thing. Yeah, we do the level design and everything, and the balancing and stuff. Um. Thank you, Oslik. Congrats on finishing the build. It looks amazing. Can't wait to try it. Thank you. You are an absolute legend for the donation. It, um, it is, like I said, it is surreal to finally be at this point. We're going to have to take him to the next location soon. I don't want to just sit here um, the whole time, but I've been trying to catch up on comments a little bit. Let them struggle. <laughs> People play Dark Souls and they still play it after getting clapped for 10 hours straight. You know, you're not wrong. And that's the thing is like, you know, like like the other comment said, um, you know, fun fun but not annoying or whatever. So we'll have to figure out a balance, and there'll there'll be some options though for everybody. Um, will everyone be provided a linear map, or will we have to do some farming upkeep with things like consumables, especially? Yeah, so everything will be provided in the linear map. No farming, no mining, nothing. Every single thing you need along the way before you get to every next boss, you will have the gear optional for you to get. So that's going to be really cool uh, about that um no worries there you will have everything i'm gonna go ahead and switch you guys over to um image slideshow while i pull up the map really quick because i don't want to spoil anything um i've hopped over to the valkyrie unless you had a different idea sure yeah i actually did not have an idea so let's let's take them over to the valkyrie that is not a bad idea we can explain explain a little bit more about how um the POIs work, the class themed POIs. 
Everything provided. Uh, okay, I read that. You are killing it. Incredible looking mods builds. Thank you very much, Stinky Weasel. <laughs> I gotta take. Uh, gotta take off. Later, Rimulation. I'll catch you later. Thank you for stopping by. Do you have to disable structural integrity on the builds? Yeah, the builds are all stable. They're just, well, they're not stable. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, we build with infinite health um so every piece is infinite health essentially so yeah so because of that uh we don't have to use iron beams iron poles saves on instances in the area which keeps the performance higher and yeah um thallion said on his twitter that the mod map pack will be released for people to private host i think someone asked earlier yeah so that's what i i I, I think his his map version will be released, but it, we haven't really quite figured out how that's going to work yet. So that's why we haven't been saying for sure. But the mod pack is free. And if his map is also released and everything works without, you know, their server and everything, then, yeah, you know, there will be a single player version of the RPG world also. Um, so we just I, I don't know for sure yet on that. But um, one day I'll have to convince iron gate dev to add pois from the community of base game that'd be great that'd be cool i, I love the base game though you know i um but yeah it would be cool could release different versions of the world with better or worse gear yeah we thought about that too just having like okay you know here's three world downloads um there's a hardcore world there's a you know an, uh, a vanilla wor or a regular world and there's like an easy world or something and yeah but the, the reason i think what we want to do is like have the options is because you can kind of choose you know what i mean like maybe let's say you're you're you really despise bone mass you hate that fight well going right before the bone mass you're gonna know we're gonna let you know when you're going to like you know the, the, you you've got three locations and then bone mass so this is the last time you're gonna get gear we're, we'll try to let you know that stuff so um in that case you know maybe you want to get more gear because you don't like bone mass and so this time you're going to go for it so we still want to have the options uh, but that is a good idea um would there be custom dungeons like mountain caves uh maybe there are you'll you will have to see on that you'll just have to find yeah. out <laughs> keep up the good work thank you so <laughs> much lisa and spalding ten dollars thank you so much um Lisa's been around for a long time. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. Keep up the good work you guys put in. Put the big game developers to shame. No, I, I really appreciate your donation. You are too kind, but I don't know. I think they've done some incredible stuff so far with Valheim. Thank you, thank you, thank you, though. Let's convince him to join our side. All right, so this... If you are a subscriber of the channel, you will have already seen Castle in the Clouds. And so what we've done for the... Uh, also, there is a mod with 12 different player classes. And so if you guys saw the video, you know that there's 12 locations around the game. And they're themed to those things. Like a Berserker, a Mage, a Priest, a Monk. This one is a Valkyrie. And so obviously like Valkyries can fly. So you can see you come up to the staircase. And if you've seen um my build videos before you've probably already seen this build this castle in the clouds um but it's going to take you up here to this literal castle in the clouds um i think you know one of the shots i showed in the video where i was like you know you'll be high up in the clouds was right here from this angle so you might remember seeing that um and the cool thing about this is that this is just like treehouse so just a second ago i showed you guys the ranger treehouse and so that's got like a, a route through from the beginning to the end right so it's the same thing here if i take you inside what you'll notice is that when you go into this main room you've got your whole like kind of oh this isn't gonna load because i'm not <laughs> that's funny there's snow on the floor on the inside um so you can see that you've got your whole like little castle interior in here with like a little staircase and everything and it's all cool and you'll explore for a minute and you'll realize like oh this normal path which would have a staircase you can't go up anymore but the only 
but over here you can and so this is this becomes the only path up through the castle just like the ranger outpost one path so as you go through same goal you're going to be clearing out the valkyries uh kind of castle in the clouds and you're going to be fighting enemies uh, finding loot and as you go through you know you've got i mean beds in here we'll probably have to take these out because you're in a poi so i don't know if we want people sleeping like inside of a poi um but yeah pretty cool as you go through um you just kind of do the whole route we've got at the very top of here this is an optional high level loot room as i showed in the video so just like in ranger outpost i guess i didn't show that when i was over there a minute ago this is totally optional you don't have to come over here we'll make sure everybody knows that you do not have to come over here um and it'll just have really high level enemies so you'll have like three star enemies here or something and if you want to you can come fight them and get some extra special gear and that's again you know another question of how do you want to play right there's going to be some options in how you can play but then you go back over here and you can go down around through the castle and if you go down the stairs it'll take you back down to there which you can see is where you can't get out so just like i said earlier you'll have one way to get out in a lot of these so this this way to get out will be down back through that hole um and you come over here fighting enemies all along the way go through here through this portal and this is actually a tower that is completely just floating in the sky and you'll go up all the way to the top of the tower to the loot so that's kind of the idea here um so each of the locations kind of has its own thing um for this one you're kind of in the clouds so that's like the theme and everything you've got a high level loot room that's an option uh you've got only one way to enter and exit and um and yeah Just take the awesome gear and rush the bosses yeah i mean that's up to you guys right like i don't whatever i mean a few other people want to grind our way up yeah you know it's it's completely up to you it's 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 whatever experience you want to have right so like if, if you're into this for the hardcore experience then maybe you could get your friends to like you know like let's have some fun guys let's let's make it hard let's actually die on these these amped up raid fights and have to do them a couple times you know let's you know etc etc but just kind of depends i think i don't know what the experience and level system would be great there's obviously a lot to put in but maybe a future idea a level system yeah so I, it's i think that's a time thing like i don't think i think playing through this entire map i don't know what do you think the car i don't think it would take more than 20 hours i mean no i mean <clears throat> you 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 put it pretty well earlier i think it's like it's like you were playing well for, for our linear map let's say it's like you're playing valheim normally you're still going to be doing all the things related to killing the bosses going to each biome etc but obviously you won't be building or you don't have to build you're certainly welcome to build you know there's, there's places for you to but if you want to, you can make a home in, in any of the structures we've made. And like you said, you won't need to farm for things. You will be given mm -hmm. the materials, the potions, the consumables, the food. All of that will be built into the loot and the quest reward type stuff. Um, so there's a lot of things that you won't need to do. But at the same time, we have added lots of extra things for you to do. Go and visit these POIs and kill the enemies there or discover the secret to get the loot whatever it might be so and and those are optional you know you can people have beaten valheim naked using campfires so you could yeah. just speed through it you know um yeah straight away or or look for every single secret we've left so mm -hmm. it's totally up to you right so we definitely have a lot of things that are kind of hidden you know and things that aren't very obvious uh, as you travel along the roads, keep your eyes out in, in the cities and locations. We have chests and things. Um, we've, we've talked about even doing kind of like... I, I've hidden a bunch of a certain item in the, in the world already. And we've talked about kind of having like... I don't know, maybe you have like a running tally with you and your friends. Whoever gets the most of that item um, kind of like wins in the end. Just adding more elements, more little games that you can play throughout the whole playthrough. Um, I think it'd be a lot of fun to add more things like that. 
uh and it'll just be optional if you want to do it right like if you and i mean you can let us know what you think right now in the chat if we should work on stuff like that or if we should just focus on you know finishing the map and and kind of like balancing everything correctly but um yeah it's it's really an optional experience what do you want to do while you're there do you want to look for everything do you want to stop or do you want to just fly through it is it going to be a glider or flying at all uh i mean <laughs> you don't really get to the mistlands till the end and that would be the only thing with the featherfall cape that would do that i appreciate the work that went into this world building much appreciated i really want to show you guys the map so you could see like the scale of it but i also don't want to spoil it um will there be shops so in the rpg version absolutely in our version probably not um we will be giving you the loot as you go in between towns and stuff and then you'll use those towns like they'll have like the next workstation you need to make the next gear and the next like cooking station you need to cook the next food right so we'll give you the ingredients and the, the raw materials to make all that stuff but i don't know if there will necessarily be shops yeah it's it's a pretty tricky one because from the start we wanted the linear version to be fully vanilla compatible that you could play with no mods and there's a lot of stuff we can do to completely change parts of the game and still have it be vanilla compatible um we can alter the properties of all kinds of things but not everything mm -hmm. and one of the things we can't do anything with vanilla wise is like Haldor. Um, we can't change his inventory table or mess around with that at all. So there might be some kind of workaround ways we could do a kind of shop mechanic. Um, but it would certainly not be anywhere near as crisp as it will be on, on the full RPG map where it's going to have merchants and shopkeepers and full quest logs and all that kind of amazing stuff. Yeah. Um... I headed over to the Druid POI. I figured we could show them that. Um, sure. So this is just another example of kind of some of the world building that we've been working on. So this is the Druid POI. We figured like they're Druids, so they're kind of like out in nature and everything. So we've got this like forest. I mean, I don't even think I could back up far enough for it. It's it probably, yeah, you can see like how big it is. There's a, that's a regular forest in Valheim and then that's this forest. So it's kind of nuts. Um, the scale of it and what's cool about it is it's one of these things that you can't get inside uh except for the the front entrance right so oh you've got roots loading in and stuff um but i can fly all the way around and you can't get inside except for one way right so you're kind of forced through this path of like fighting through to the end and then like gathering all the loot along the way so you're kind of like you and your friends or just yourself like you'll be having fun hopefully <laughs> you know uh kind of battling from the beginning to the end getting the full experience instead of having ways to cut through um you know it's kind of all i'm gonna get lost in the trees here that's one of the things when you teleport to this this area it is so confusing you get lost in these trees like this and it's just like i yeah i just can't see anything but if you look at the map you can just fly out to the river though and yeah there we are so uh, I don't want to spoil too much with this location, but essentially, like, you can arrive by boat, or you can arrive by the road, which comes down this way. Um, you know, we've got all the little routes and everything, so you're coming around and you already know, like, there's some kind of crazy forest going on here. Um, and then as you head around to the inside, you'll see that the platform here, you, you have to use this platform to get across. That's the way we've set it up, like, you can't really, um get across otherwise and of course you know this is just like everything we've been saying like some things are optional you know if you want to <laughs> if you want to download this world and you want to try to cheat your way through everything you totally can if that's how you want to play it you know go for it but we've set it up to hopefully make it obvious that you're not supposed to do certain things in certain areas so that you know exactly like what's intended and so yeah the, this what's intended here is there will be enemies right here you'll clear these enemies and then you know i don't want to go too deep into this but you know you can see as i go around this corner at least you know we've got another platform here and now you're like in the forest and you're just completely surrounded by these trees and you've got another platform to clear and then you can keep going that way through but 
I wanted to show you guys the druid because I thought it was pretty cool. If anyone played the game Grim Dawn uh, and went to fight the super boss Lokar, this area reminds me of that with all of the roots. Mm -hmm. Pretty obscure reference, but maybe one of you has played that. <laughs> Lands and rags at world start goes to miss lands and rags at world start exactly like you can do whatever you want but and and that's the intention is to spawn in on a fresh character level zero every stat right so you know you start with absolutely nothing and we take you through from beginning to end you're you're leveling up your skills you're getting more gear more food but you're just you're not stopping to mine you don't need to build if you don't want to you're you're not farming you're not you know killing anything and harvesting the meat and everything everything will be there for you along the way so you could just focus on enjoying a kind of linear experience from beginning to end and not have to stop or anything single entry is a great idea just watch asman's video how does it feel to leave him speechless I, he was honestly so nice. I was very thankful watching that. He was very, very kind. Bet you got lots of stuff. Oh, thank you, Trill Trillion1980. Thank you so much. The Valheim devs need to hire you guys. I know you used mods to build all of this, but technically all of this is possible within the game. Much respect for all of your effort and creativity. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Um, what else should we show them, you know? Um, and the list, I had Monk, Priest, and Valk. Oh, so I had Monk and Priest still that we haven't showed them that we could show okay. them. Okay, let's, let's show them Monk. Okay. So... <clears throat> If anyone has seen my Sentinel video, um, in the background near the beginning was a huge wooden Japanese castle <laughs> that I did intend to make a video on, but as I am want to do, got sidetracked with other things. Um, but this proved the perfect uh, place for it. Um, the monk class is very... Uh, Eastern focused, it's got key attacks and that sort of thing, so this felt absolutely perfect, that kind of thing. Right, um, we've got the bridge coming across from the mainland, little drawbridge with more gates, uh, with the mod, so we'll have to pull that out for the linear version. And then you approach his monk POI. It, it was, it's funny how, like, it honestly, it just feels really cool for a monk, you can see it loading in there. It feels like like a monk kind of temple type of thing that you'd find up in the mountains in like Tibet or something, you know? Um, mm -hmm. It's You come across these rocks, you enter the road here, and you can see the road actually goes that way. Um, but as we head up this way, you show up at the temple. And you, if, you've, if you follow me, you'll, you'll have already seen I took a picture um, from like right here and i posted it so you could see only just a little bit of the temple but and you know what's funny is too <laughs> dakar always builds massive things and this is what do you think this is a fourth of the actual build i think may i think this might be like a like a sixth um, of the build or something we took like a corner off of it or yeah something. we cut off we cut off like a couple layers off the bottom right and then like quite a bit off the back as well yeah it, yeah like, so it was a lot bigger it was but, yeah it yeah. was massive but it, there was just no way that we could i mean you can see it's sixteen thousand instances um so that's kind of we tried to get it to like just around the same level that we had a lot of the other stuff so you've got just this massive temple here and as you enter currently of course it's empty but this is one of the class themed pois right so you'll follow the road to here and when you get here you know the idea is going to be you've got i mean how many floors is this five floors i think and so let's find out yeah let's find out so i don't want to get into too much what we're going to do here um but as you go up you essentially you know you're definitely going to be fighting a lot of enemies and as you go up higher and higher of course the enemies are going to get harder and harder and 
you know you could just see as i quickly run through here as we quickly run through here like kind of how many levels there are and how many options you know here on this level we've got these this like raised platform so we can have like a bunch of archers up here shooting down which might give you an idea of some of the things that we can do with the amped up raid like boss fights uh which will be uh super fun to set up with all the spawners and everything and then up here you'll have kind of your <laughs> your like main boss and your main loot at the very top so pretty cool super excited to get this one set up uh, I think this was honestly just perfect for a monk. You know what I mean? Like, mm. look at that. I'm giving a little free fly shot. That's nice. You want to show him the um, uh, yeah. priest? See if yeah, can... let's go to priest. See if we got some questions. Um. Trillion, yeah. Thank you very much, Trillion. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure players can easily just dig under your PI boundaries. It's the very first thing my players did upon seeing my crafted entrance. Yeah, that would not <laughs> <laughs> that would not be good. Um, players are crafty, aren't they? Yeah. Oh gosh, what did I just do? We have talked about this a little bit. There's, there's some things we just can't stop people from doing if they're really determined they can cheat. But if they want to ruin the experience for themselves, you know, uh, we can't stop them in some respects. So we'll do our best to make sure that people sort of, you know, play the game as intended. But we, we definitely can't stop everything. Um... Okay, sorry, I had to get the thing pulled back up again. Building mods make these build pieces have infinite health, indeed. The more I learn about the dev side of Valheim, I'm always impressed by how creative the community is with everything. Yeah, there's a lot, um, you know, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that goes on to kind of make this stuff happen, you know? Um, Dakar and I have been working for quite a while to figure out all this stuff. You can see with the, the mod configurator, this is kind of a side of Valheim that most people never even see, you know, um, and these are kind of like background settings that we can turn on and off with these mods to make the experience a lot different so that we can focus on building and save a lot of time building. Um, a lot of a lot of keybinds and things. We both got like a whole keyboard full of keybinds practically and yeah, I mean, it, honestly, I can't even imagine what the devs probably, <laughs> you know, like they, they, yeah, you know sure. what I mean? Like they probably, if if we have a lot of tools to work with, I'm sure that their side of the game is nuts. Um, see my video, Carlo. Hey, That's Jerry. a good idea with the eye floor. What happened? Um, Canaris was saying, uh, we can put an ice floor under some of the builds to stop people from getting through. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Um, yeah. Or we could just stretch a rock too. We could also use, yeah, well, yeah. Or, uh, all that invisible wall piece we have. Um, oh yeah, true. Yeah. I, there's mm, a few ways we can yeah, do I that same kind of idea. There. I didn't, I haven't mentioned that though. I don't think we should tell them anything about that yet. <laughs> oh no, they don't need to know about that. That's, no. that's our secret. Yeah. <laughs> they'll see, they'll um, they'll find out when when they're playing. Um, what, should we show them the priest also? Yeah, I'm I'm here at the priest. Um, on my way. Or we could even start up on the mountain and, and walk down to the priest. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. I showed I showed around. both of them in the video, so why not? Yeah. Let's let me fly up there real quick, and then I'll take you guys off of um, screenshots. There is a really nice screenshot of the ruins town. That is the only shot so far that of the ruins town that is public. So I'm glad that I had that in the rotation so they can get a little sneak peek of that. But you'll have to see Dakar's video coming soon to get uh, the full rundown on how he did the ruins town. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a fun one to, to show. Mm -hmm. Um. So up here at the top of this mountain if you guys have seen the video this is um a hand 
and a giant like pole spear thing from Dakar's Sentinel build, which is like, I mean, <laughs> honestly, in my opinion, one of the most legendary Valheim builds that's ever been built. The thing is absolutely insane. It's like, how many, isn't it like 70,000 instances? Yeah, 72,000. Yeah, it's absolutely nuts. There's a little bit of a secret here, but I don't want to spoil it. So you guys will have to check that out. But you can head down this mountain and what it does is you follow the road and it takes you to the priest POI. So the priests I showed I showed this in the uh, in the video. This is kind of like their temple on the water. And the idea here is um, going to be to essentially the way I've set up the route. I, I finished the route. I finalized the route today through the map for the linear experience. And you're going to come here. We've got, I don't want to show everything. Um, you can see the chains we've got up here, which came with the more gates mod. We've got some jumps, and you are basically going to be doing a long jumping puzzle, which brings you all around this building over the pool of an ancient sea serpent, like I said in the video. Um, this guy, I built this build like over a year ago. This is the same guy, <laughs> because he copied in the blueprint. So, uh, it's kind of cool that he's still here, but... Um, he comes from a long line of captured serpents. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so you don't want to fall in the water here, but you can get out very easily, though. So y you shouldn't die, but uh, it'll be pretty funny. And as you kind of jump your way up, if you can get up here to the top, uh, there, there will be enemies and things. And along the path that I created, this will be somewhat before the first time you go into the mountains. So I'm thinking here is probably going to be where we give you guys uh, the wolf cape so that you will be uh, warm in the mountains. So it's like it's little things like that that we're going to make sure that you're prepared for that next setting. Um, but also that um, you are not over prepared or anything so that it's still a lot of fun. You guys are amazing. No, you are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> is the is the built map complete or not yet um the version one of the map is done uh the rpg modded version will be done in a few months our version linear version unmodded uh curated valheim experience kind of thing will be done in january well the serpent yes the serpent is invulnerable so the serpent is a permanent feature of the pool that you can fall into below. Oh, it will attack you. Oh yeah, it's tried. Yes, there's no no worry on that. <laughs> He's kind of noisy. So, yeah. So that's that's actually the fun thing though about it is because the serpent is noisy. Um, he's not just noisy. He will shake your entire screen. So it's part of like the jumping puzzle. You know, you find the start of the jumping puzzle and then you, as you're jumping through things, you have the risk of the serpent screaming at any time. And if the serpent screams, um, then, you know, you might just want to hold for a second until he chills out. But You can see Dakar hanging out by the serpent down at the bottom. We both have ghost on though. So many admin world build questions. <laughs> there we go. I up. named him. Oh, nice. <laughs> what did you name him? Surfy. Surfy. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's still surfer for me. I'll have to probably leave the area and come back, I guess. Oh yeah, you can reload. Yeah, that's all good. Um. However, time that I assume you've solved this is not the form for some of those questions. Yeah, if you if you got questions like that, um, Gaijin, uh, just hop into the Discord. We'll, we we are more than happy to answer any Valheim related questions at any time. If we're awake and on, we we are we got you. Um, so when will players be able to hop into the server with classes and mods? That'll be in a few months. They're working on the mod pack. You can already hop on their server and test out the mod pack which is free and anybody can get the, the full mod pack already uh but the server does not have the map yet it's just for tweaking the mod pack itself and they're slowly kind of adding new things new iterations um as as they kind of like figure things out really testing the priests the priest's faith testing content before release for 
Nice. <laughs> I love the arena style designs. Did you guys think of putting some PvP arenas? We do not have any PvP arenas. That might be good for the actual live server, though. Maybe they should do that. For our linear version, we have They, not, they are, I believe. I oh, think nice. there's a PvP only zone. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Or like an PvP zone, I should say. Okay, I see. Where, like, a 1v1 can happen, maybe surprises for winning. Yeah, so I guess they are going to do that in the RPG server. I don't know why the Serpent feels mm. like he's doing the runaway to see. No, so Serpents are, like, bound to... I, I don't know if this is 100% correct, but I'm pretty sure... We've talked about this before. I think Serpents are kind of bound within a certain distance of where they're spawned. Um, it's actually all creatures have that kind of property. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's, it's we really... We may actually need to replace them. Yeah, it's it's really more just an issue of the pool is not big enough and it's not deep enough. So he does sometimes kind of stick out, but I just think it's kind of cool because you're like walking around and you can kind of like touch him on like pet him or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like yeah. it's it's kind of it's I don't know. Maybe it's kind of glitchy looking, but I like it. We'll definitely test everything before full release, you know. Yeah, so, um, yeah. I need to make it deeper. I know that. I think that'll help a lot if yeah. I make it deeper. The Duelist Arena isn't bad. Yeah, the Duelist would be really yeah, good for that, actually. Yeah, in the central room, there's actually a nice little uh, sort of 5x5 five five arena for a 1v1. That's a good point. I don't want to show them the Duelist yet, though. That, that location is so cool. Uh, I can't wait till you guys get to see that, though. But that. It's just one of the locations. We haven't showed you most of the locations on the map, you know? And it's one of those things that you guys will get to come up on the map and just see it for the first time and just, you know, be like, oh my gosh, what is this? And kind of unravel the mystery of what you need to do and how do you get loot and, and you know, what kind of enemies are in here and, you know, what kind of pickables are in here and where's the hidden loot that's in here and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So excited for you too. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are also kind of freaking out at this point <laughs> <laughs> to say the least yeah um let's see let's let's maybe take him to one or two more locations i, I think we've really i mean we've talked about the stuff we wanted to talk about the linear location if you want details on that um you know it's in the faq in the discord number seven and it really describes it really well what you're going to be doing i don't think we need to get into that anymore but i'd love to show him one more location at least yeah should we show them one of the uh boss altars yeah that's not a bad idea um but bone mask comes to mind first i love that altar um and okay, i should and i showed yeah. it in the video too so no worries on spoiling that i want to show you guys so somebody did if you guys want to know i mentioned at the end of the video that there is an easter egg somewhere that i edited into the video that that actually is from like a hidden movie location and somebody guessed it somebody got it and so if you really want to know what it is you can go to look through the comments or you can find it yourself as you play and you can have a very funny surprise uh when you see what we put into the game all right we are here so this is a app. yep Sorry, the free flight camera does that sometimes. Makes me slightly nauseous. Um, <laughs> here... What is the total instance count on the map? We have no idea. But no not. idea, but there's hundreds of thousands in the build graveyard alone, if you want to consider that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the total, I have no idea. I mean, every town, every big POI is 15,000 to 20,000 instances. So there's that, and there's 35 locations. Um, so that should give you like some idea, but a lot of the, not all 35 are that big. Some of them are kind of small. Some of them are just little like, you know, little things out in the woods that are really kind of cool just to hang out at and clear out and stuff. So it's like, I don't know. Um, but that's an interesting question. So yeah, here's the bone mass altar. Uh, we tried to, there's a lot of things going on here. Um, so on the ground, we've got different elements worked into the ground so that they're kind of tripping hazards. They're kind of like. Um, you know a little bit of roughed up terrain so that you know your movement is kind of messed up You've even got water over on the side over there in the distance um, You've got some SFX going on with some kind of like uh, Little floating green clouds you can see right there 
um we've got kind of a closed in area so you're also like a little bit limited on how far you can go um you know you're kind of stuck right here around the bone mass summoning altar um yeah i don't know it's just kind of like a bunch of stuff in the theme of the area i can take you guys down this way and show you kind of how you approach I had a shot like this, but it just didn't make it into the final cut. But you can see like how big everything is like around the arena itself. Um, up up above it, the whole arena, it's got like kind of like, you know, from the from the ground to the sky, there's kind of stuff you can look at. But as you come down the road, um, kind of pass. If you look very closely there. between some of the roots, you might see a few spooky eyes. Yeah. Out. <laughs> yeah, of course we've got a bunch of little things worked in and stuff. Um, I think there's one. Yeah, you can see one over here. <laughs> little bone mass trophies and stuff. I mean, I think I think every location we try to, to you know, do a bit of um, kind of little extra things that may or may not be noticed, but are just kind of like a fun part of the development. Um, but yeah, all the boss arenas are kind of have their own thing. <clears throat> um, try to think, I don't want to show them all of them. We definitely can't show them motor. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I really want to though. Hey, it's up to you, man. I'll, I'll follow your lead. I really want to, but that's like. I sh I mean, I technically I showed it in the video, and Asmongold even <laughs> even paused it. Was like, wait, and went back. That was a really cool moment. Frame rates are on some of the larger builds. Yeah, frame frame rates. It's not really an issue. I think we've done a good job managing that, and we've got a couple little tricks we've used here and there. World design looks and feels remarkably inspired. Does this come from countless hours of building or do you draw from an archive of fantasy worlds that have inspired you in the past? Definitely both. Um, hundred, yeah, hundred yeah, percent both. We, we, we've both, I mean, I, I, if you consider like all the R and D on the builds that we brought into, I mean, we both put thousands of hours into this, but the fantasy worlds, there was a lot of inspiration from fantasy worlds in this, you know, all sorts of things. I mean, I, mm. I personally took a lot of inspiration from Skyrim, a lot of stuff. I, like, I mean, there is, um, at the end of the video, I, I mentioned that there is a thieves guild inspired something somewhere. And that's all I will say, but, um, let's see, but yeah, you know, yeah, we we're both we're both big gamers, played loads of different uh games and um, you know, love fantasy words, uh, worlds and literature and T V shows, movies, all that sort of stuff. So Yeah. A lot of a lot of different inspirations in the melting pot. For sure. Yeah, somebody already nailed it. Yeah, they said it was the wings for the motor boss from yeah. Deathwing video. Yeah, um, they were actually. They are indeed from Deathwing. Yeah, I converted them to a sort of icy feel. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I might, uh, I might have to put a little Deathwing shout out in in my video. So if Asman sees that, he'll. Uh... Yeah, I can't wait to see his reaction. <laughs> Yeah, if he sees the whole thing, absolutely. I didn't think about that. Um, thanks, Scannerus. I didn't think about putting Swamp Brain on so they could actually see it in the full swamp environment. That's one of the things we, you know, since we we use all these mods and everything, we build a lot. We sometimes we, I mean, at least me, I, you know, it's, it's it's hard to remember. Like, you know, we're constantly on ENV clear TOD five, which is time of day noon, so we have the maximum lighting and clear the weather for builds and so sometimes um i don't think about that what yeah. is going on with my free fly cam right now mm. there we go yeah this dude i actually had not even looked at this one time in the swamp weather i, <laughs> I, I mean i we spent so much time on stuff like this you didn't even really need it um in in my opinion for sure but what the heck this is cool yeah, it looks super cool. My build team, everyone's pick is different. 
Very spooky. Yeah, let's show him another one. Why not? Sure. Where shall we get though? I don't know. Um. Uh, you showed off a bit of Yagloose. Uh, well, you showed off a little bit of all of them. I didn't quite um, show Yag with fully, though. You know what I mean? Like I just yeah, it, like, you gave it a little mm. teaser. Yeah, so I I feel like we should wait for that. Um, maybe, maybe we should just show a motor, bro. They they saw it in the video. I mean, that was a that was a pause worthy moment, and I put it there. So if anybody <laughs> wanted to see it, they saw it. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I, I feel like it doesn't get cooler than that. Being able to bring in those wings, that was such a good idea. Like, oh, I gotta turn off Swamp Rain. I guess, what would it be, light snow for this? Twilight snow? Yeah, that would be really nice, yeah. Let's try Twilight snow. Alright. Check out this if i can figure out how to change the there we go so yeah dakar has a crazy build it's called Deathwing, and oh yeah i'm gonna have to emv clear this because they're so massive so you can see above me like i can't i don't even know how to like put this into perspective how like here here's a tr let's see what is this tree what scale is this that's 229 this is a 100 scale tree right here and you can see like how big these wings are <laughs> like that is like that's a full-size pine tree like i don't know how else to like kind of put it in perspective <laughs> um but let me env clear real quick and you can see a little better um yeah any world of warcraft fans that are here and i suspect there might be a few um yeah i have a video on my channel called building a massive dragon in valheim and yeah it's deathwing so <laughs> if you want to go check that out i'd very much appreciate it and uh i tried to make it to scale it's always difficult finding like the real scale of this type of stuff but um I went with the best information I could find, so it's kind of to the scale. Mm -hmm. I think I, I got most of it in frame now. I had to back up like a half mile. <laughs> yeah, that's. A, I, I don't think I I agree, um, Tyan. I don't I don't think the video really did it justice. I just wanted to show it really quick. You know, I didn't want to. You know, but uh, I want to go ahead and show everybody here in the stream. They've earned it if they've stuck around. Yeah, I've got keybinds to do all that too, Kenner, so I just, just not thinking about it. We uh we use TOD four, TOD five, and TOD six a lot. Like you can see just just so you can when you're taking screenshots, it's really nice. Like TOD five is usually really nice. I mean it depends. You know, with Valheim the, the sun goes across the southern half of the sky, so uh, it depends on which way your build's facing, but you can see like TOD4 here gives you some nice kind of angled light. TOD5 is kind of right over it. TOD6 is once again angled light for this this angle. Redonk. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Thank you. So many hours of that dude's back. That's funny. Developers of Valheim send you a message about this idea? No, I don't think We've gotten any messages from the devs or anything i i hope they've seen it though i hope they're they're cool with it how many hours on that dude's back yeah <laughs> hitting armor plates right <laughs> um somebody asked for your youtube this is the car's channel <clears throat> thank you sir mm -hmm, mm -hmm. don't forget pin comment if you guys want to join my discord uh, I've got an FAQ in there with some of the most commonly asked questions we've been getting over the past few days that might be helpful and that's also where uh, the linear version is going to be posted in my discord for you guys to grab and play on so check it out if you want 
Am I still on? Tell me I'm still on the right playlist. Okay, yeah, I am. The last time I streamed, I ended up on some very copyrighted music. <laughs> You'll share the vid with Iron Gate Dev. Well, thanks. That would be awesome. That would be really cool. Um, honestly, we were talking about it earlier in the stream. I would love to get any input they have on how we do the leveling here because the next few weeks are going to be really grinding out like figuring exactly how to balance all of the loot and everything and like it'd be cool to have some of them involved or something in some way but yeah Mega builds are great Dakar watching nearly half a year yeah Dakar is an absolute legend that's why I put that in the video like I was not like trying to hype him up <laughs> my guy is an <laughs> absolute legend well he did <laughs> thank you <laughs> The game under your live stream shows WoW instead of Valheim. The RPG map is that good? That's funny. I think I, I think I see what you, I think I know what you mean. Yeah, it's it's always glitchy that. Yeah, it is showing World of Warcraft now. It was showing Vindica earlier. It was showing Guild Wars. Wait, it's, really? It's all over the place. Yeah, that's weird. Um. So yeah, the. Arena though, you can see for Modair, it's right, we put it at the very top of the mountain. So we kind of like built this arena up with rocks and ice and the wings. And um, you've got Modair's kind of spawn area. And then once again, we've got things down low to kind of limit your movement. Um, we've got a little bit of lighting here and there. We've got some SFX going on to kind of add some to the confusion. And yeah, you've got kind of a closed in arena and only so much room to work with. So just the setting alone is supposed to add, you know, some kind of craziness. But then with all the enemies we'll be spawning in, um, hopefully it'll be even even crazier, even one level above that. I don't know if they'll get, that, get involved, but yeah, I, I don't think they'll probably get involved. I'm just, it'd be really cool, you know, since I have you with this personal game project, I can share the video. Much appreciated. Takara, do you have any advice to start building houses on Valheim? Because I'm too stuck to it. Do you have like a good tutorial? I do not have a good tutorial. Um, Nine Byte has a series of very good tutorials on how to do all different types of roofs. So yeah, yeah. If you look on his channel, you'll definitely be able to find find that tutorial series on on roofs. Um, the... Honestly, it's just practice. This. like mm -hmm. my first house was terrible absolutely awful so i think anyone can do it you know that's my uh, opinion i agree too anybody could do it just takes a little bit of time put in that's all oh uh, I, I do have a tutorial series if you want to like follow along and build with me with the village build series also if that helps you um and the viking tavern and the viking outpost are both and the blacksmith build all really good creative kind of like house structures that would be good for inspiration for that um I don't know, uh, somebody said w was there ever a part of the building process where either of you felt it was necessary to scale things down maybe not to go as epic as some of what you have shown here uh some of the areas are smaller that we haven't shown that they aren't as big um but i think in general no <laughs> um yeah I, I don't mean to like i don't know we, we we know the limits of the game very well we've been building in the game for a long time so i think we were trying to, to get right to the edge of that for performance and that's what it's nice because we don't have to like we don't have to there's only a limit to what you can do right now in one area in valheim so that's kind of our limit for us that has off that has uh acted as as our limit and it's been really great because there's only it just means there's only so much we could do and then you know for after after we get to a certain point we we move on or we start uh skim taking down a little bit so that we can add some final elements in um, but yeah in general i think we had a lot of fun pushing the limits of what we could do in a lot of areas yeah and that's kind of another thing that does come with experience because like instance count is one thing but not all instances are created equal some yeah. objects are way more performance intensive than others um mm -hmm. so that's another thing that we're kind of conscious of um so yeah yeah so let's take them to 
another place. Oh, don't want to show them that. Let's take them to, you want to take them to more boss locations? Or is there any other location you could think of off the top of your head that you want to show them? Um, we didn't go to the shaman. Um, we did not go to the shaman. That is a really good idea. And that shows some fun stuff with uh, like the routing. Let's take them over there. I don't want to, or we could take him to Berserker, because that's kind of like your thing, if you want to, because we showed him a lot of my stuff. Yeah. I don't want to, um, you want to, like, explain your yeah, thought process. Yeah, we could them to Up to you, though. Um, that one's kind of Yeah, like, no, I'm We I'm haven't shown that. that so far, so we could also save that for your video. Um, I think it is one of the pictures on the slideshow, so if people have... It is. It's, it's... Probably can see that. Hey, I don't mind showing it. Okay. Yeah. Boom. We are here. So, yeah, what was your thought process when you were creating this? Well, this kind of came about in a similar way to the, um, the mountain Black Forest town that you showed in the video, which was the, the Black Forest fully encased in the mountain. You mm -hmm. know, here... Um, not that you can really show it because you can't show the map, but there is like a very small patch of black forest in the middle of a swamp. Um, and it was a nice big high ground. And obviously normally in the swamp, you don't get any high ground. It's all low ground and sunken into the floor. So here we had kind of a unique high ground area in the middle of the swamp. So... Uh, I think immediately we both knew something has to go here. You yeah. know, this is too good of an opportunity to go by. And as we began dividing up the different class-themed areas, it kind of naturally fell that uh, that this would be here. Mm -hmm. um, as far as this kind of the idea and the theme itself, it's kind of designed to be a uh it's the berserker poi so it's kind of a barbarian war camp you know lots of bloodthirsty warriors kind of no shields you know an axe in each hand it's all that kind of vibe um there's some some cages with captured uh prisoners in them lots of little huts and um there's like a, a barbecue grill type thing here and Meat piles, skeletal remains, lots of kind of grim savages uh, kind of vibes to it. And then the whole area is snaking up as you battle your way through the war camp and defeating the different guards and warriors who are here, eventually making your way all the way up to the top, of the big central building where the boss will be awaiting you and then yeah a big big kind of demonic skull with an axe buried in his head to go on top i'll take him inside the uh top boss thing at the very top so i think up here you know this will be where you've got the big guy you know some kind of like three star something or other and bunch of other little guys and your final loot will be here and yeah you'll finish the location but i think i think you just did a freaking spectacular job here like kind of spiraling up the mountain giving giving the player kind of a good route to um you know enjoy a lot of little stops along the way grab loot along the way um and kind of head head up to the top yeah i tried to give have there be a kind of main route go up, but there's also a lot of side huts you can go into and maybe find some extra loot in there, a few more potions or, or food. Um, yeah, I uh, I really like how this came out. Mm -hmm. How would the multiplayer RPG differ from the playthrough version? Um, if you want to get some more details on that, I would follow the link in the pinned comment and you can check out the FAQ page in my Discord and that's got kind of commonly answered questions, but um, yeah, live server, MMO, RPG, open world, quests, NPCs, um, resetting 
areas on timers, and then our version is linear. So you're just doing a Valheim playthrough from beginning to end. You start in the meadows, you battle through locations, collect gear, and then put that gear together and cook food in the towns to get ready for the next boss fight. And you play through the whole game in like a curated experience where you don't have to mine, you don't have to farm, you don't have to uh, build if you don't want to, etc. Um, actually would like to see some of the roads sure yeah we could show them some of the roads real quick um a little tricky because we are near something that i definitely don't want to show them yeah and i can't pull up where did map. we do the really nice roads there was was that near the duelist or the enchanter which we kind of don't want to show but we could go near i know and show i'm the scared to go anywhere right now without checking the map i'm i'm like yeah okay let me i'm let panicking me to <laughs> <laughs> I don't no worry. pressure yeah no pressure i've already pulled up the map twice on accident though but like i said earlier at the beginning you know i i knew i was gonna pull it up a few times on accident it's up to you guys you want to you want to go back through the vod and like screenshot it and try to get some you know insight you totally can that's up to you i mean i have a full version of the map if you pay for the ultimate design uh the ultimate membership you can get the full map um because that's an open world they needed it for that that was to explore and look around uh it's up to you guys you know it's it's if you want you know little spoilers you can have them but yeah, we've tried to we keep this spoiler free yeah we didn't want to ruin it for anyone who didn't want to get that spoiled so yeah yeah it's up to you can we get a hint a hint for what <laughs> that could mean a lot of things you know <laughs> we've definitely dropped some hints we in have this video yeah. there's I, been a few hints here and there there have and i will say that here let me i'll take you guys to a road section real quick um so I, with the, I, I mentioned earlier in the video, I said that somewhere with the editing, I put in like a little teaser to some kind of like really popular movie. And that movie is, um, there's a location built off of that. And somebody guessed it. And I said I would confirm it in the comments. So somebody did guess it and I confirmed it. So if you really want to know one, there's a hint. You could go th look through the comments and you'll get a little teaser on uh, a super fun location that we added. There's lots of places that have hidden chests in places you might not even notice when you walk past them five times and then you'll be like hang on there's a chest up there and then there might be a little a little stick or pole or brick that's sticking out slightly that you can jump up on and get to it but yeah you don't know where they might be
Um, Alice has answered that. Uh, yeah, he knows a lot more than us on that side of thing. Crumpax are a very big modder. Um, lots of cool mods. Yeah, Atlas. <laughs> Genesis Digital. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> For some of the builds, did we use some sort of mod? Uh, yes. Uh, spiritual Integrity um, is is kind of turned off, you know, not to explain it in a very simplified way. Um, and then, yeah, I use Gizmo, which lets you rotate on more angles and more uh, integers, so you can do smoother curves and that kind of thing. Um, someone was asking earlier about the mist in the pirate town. Um, if you want to come here and turn off the the mist disabler, and then we can show that uh, there is mist in the mistlands, but there is none where we are. Yeah, we can show. I mean, well, yeah. And see where I am. And if, if you, if, yeah, if you teleport to where I am, you can, you can see like to the, to the south, you can see the areas covered in mist, and then to the north, I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, so like to your left, you can see a bunch of mist, and that's just normal mist lands. And then over to the right, you'll be able to see one of the ship masts poking up. That's where, that's where our build is, and yeah, you can see there's no mist there at all. Oh, hold up, hold up, sorry. You're muted, apparently. People are saying you're muted. Or they can't hear you. Oh, I am. How long has that been happening? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Fixed. Fixed. Whoops. Whoops. I don't know how long that, that was going on. My bad. Um. So, yeah, the mist in Mistlands is... Uh, a lot of times near the shore you've got a lot of these little islands and things and they don't have mist a lot of the time so we just kind of took advantage of that and chose a location near there and then you can also see i don't want to get too close and show you a bunch but um because this is kind of one of our favorite things we want you guys to be able to see it for the first time naturally uh, other than what we showed in the video but you can kind of see that we chose a spot where there's a path that goes really far down and then it comes out the other side so you could drive a ship all the way through like you would be able to in like a pirate setting like a pirate lagoon but then also uh this was another way that we used to keep instant countdown so on one end 
we've got a different set of instances that are no longer counting the instances at the far end. So we were able to do more here than in the other cities um, just because of that, because we spread it out so much. Uh, thank you, Mortar, for pointing that out. Oh, that's my bad. And Canaris. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Canaris. A good four minutes? Oh my gosh, was I muted for four minutes? I think when you were started talking about the roads, somebody said. Oh, good lord. The whole roads guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I am so... Like, I'm such a noob with streaming. Um, does cartography save the info if you were to record it after we beat the game so we can see if we missed anything? Uh, yeah, so it does, it says, does save the info. The version of the map that I've got out right now that you can get through my ultimate membership has a cartography table right at world spawn for those people because that version is so you can explore the open world with all the roads intact and you can just have fun on an open world, play a D&D &D adventure or just explore with friends, but there's no like enemy spawners. There's no like... You know we haven't done all the like really setting up yet um but maybe at the end of the linear version we should add a uh a full map table so yeah. if people want to check that'd be a great anything. idea um at, at like the queen when they finish the queen they could yeah, come, come back that, here yeah. or something um yeah it's not, it's not a bad idea because i don't i don't want to um yeah because i don't want to give it to him at the very beginning because then you have to like not use your map or something and you definitely want him to be able to use their yeah map, it should so. be like an optional thing at the end so yeah that could be good absolutely i know I, I was thinking about that too that's a great question honestly um because i was thinking about that I, you know if if there's anything that people missed how do we you know help them ensure that they can then go back and see it mm -hmm. so that's that's actually a really good point thank you for saying that um <laughs> Lisa, <laughs> take a break once in a while. Classic. Has everybody stress testing maximum number of players on this map? Yeah, I mean they're testing the mod pack all the time, you know, right? So they 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 can get a hundred people on that server. Um, so they're definitely stress testing that, but they don't have the map there yet. So, um, and our version of the map will only be linear, no mods, so it'll just be ten people at a time. But for their version, yeah, they'll definitely have to do some stress testing for that. Can you get a close up of the ship? Sure, I gave one at the beginning of the stream, but I'm sure that, you know, we've been streaming for a while now. So, oh, that was a little laggy. I'll give you guys a close up of the ship. So this is Dakar's amazing ship. And thank you for your flight camera for completely showing them things <laughs> that I don't want to show them. Check this thing out. He did some crazy stuff here. So, uh, same explanation as earlier. He uses Gizmo, so he's kind of a, a wizard. He's just able to do things that uh work with angles that most people can't so he's able to just do something like this this is just absolutely insane i'll show you a little close-up of like the mast and um how he did all this with like rugs and stuff or like what even are, yeah these are red rugs that he turned on their side um these are ship underscore construction pieces right i think uh or ship deck or something i don't even know um these are the tables the big the big tables yeah i meant the uh the net things i don't know what those are oh the net thing sorry yeah the net thing is um if you oh yeah if you find the ruined ships out in the world in vanilla valheim uh these are often a part of those ruins mm -hmm. shipwreck carved bottom boards is what they're called uh, okay um yeah they make a really nice uh mast net so this is a shot I put in the video that you, you might have seen. A little quick little shot like this of the front. God, the front looks so cool, man. And the back too. You did so good with this. This is Thank sick. Thank you, man. Welcome to Ultimate Membership, Matt Dennis. Nice. I'll have to get you set up to get the worlds right after the stream. Um, if you want to go ahead and DM me on Discord, um, then I'll get you set up right away after the stream. Thank you very much for becoming a member. 45 players, still no issues. Nice. Vanilla players meet the max limit of 10 people just fine for the most part. On the RPG server, we'll have massive code base of networking stuff to optimize everything. Nice. Are you guys thinking of adding maybe NPCs to the cities or something so they don't feel empty? 
Um, you know, there'll be NPCs like to get quests and stuff in the RPG version. We might have a few NPCs here and there, but uh, not really for not really for that. No, um, to be honest with you. Um, but, I mean, may maybe we'll, we could do something like that, Dakar. I don't know. That's I don't know. Without mods. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit weird on the full mod. Yeah, it's experience. Yeah, it's tricky without mods. Um, you were a little robot there. I don't know if it was my internet or yours, but I think I got you there. Um, but I will say, you can see that we've got these kind of like fun little paths that come off the ship and they go all the way through the pirate area. And it is just a lot of fun. You can explore the pirate area and like on the docks or on the paths up top or like, you know, there's all just all sorts of things with like just wood docks and wood things sticking out of the cliffs it's it's super fun um what i'm seeing now looks awesome so far thank you thank you yeah there will be different versions so if you want to um follow the pinned comment you can check out in the discord i have an faq and the first question talks about all three versions Oh, thank you so much for gifting five so, uh, memberships. You're a legend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for doing this. Absolutely. Absolutely. We, uh, we are really excited to put out the first full version and, and put it out for free and everything so everybody can play it. I sent you a DM that's regarding NPCs and such. Thank you, Mortar. Thank you. I will check that out after this stream. Absolutely. Because, I mean, it would be really cool to have some just kind of walking around. We'll have to see how that works. Um, I will say, I'll give you guys a little, little, you can see how you walk up right here. Just a little sneak peek going down. Just a little, little house right here. Some stuff. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Can't do too much. Can't do too much. Um, what else should we show him? Is there anything else? Uh, um, am I back to normal? Yeah, I think you're back to normal now. Sounds good. Sounds very, very good. Am great. I still robot -y? Mm, No, it's, it sounds really okay. good, actually. Okay, perfect. Um, hmm. Wow, this crate is massive. Uh, oh. I almost pull up the map again. Put you guys on the slideshow just for one second. Let me look around. What else could we show them? Let's give them at least like let's give them at least like one more location. Something they haven't seen. I mean, we probably sh haven't showed them like half. So. Yeah, there's still a lot we haven't. Um... Can't show them that. Mm. Can't show them that. We haven't been to the the Black Forest Mountain Town. And you showed that in the video, but it would be cool to, to give that a closer look. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I was going to save that, but why not? Hey, we... If you want to save it, let's, let's talk. Nah, let's to you. show it's them. I, that's, it's something that we talked about this. I couldn't, it was very hard to show in the video, and I only showed it very briefly. So, yeah, let's show them. This is, this is something that's really like this winter town. It's, it came out really cool. So, um, I'm just really happy with it. Let's let's give them a little peek. All right, so this is the entrance. Um, so the idea here is actually like I'm probably not gonna give you guys the wolf cape yet here. So you have to quickly move through the cold, and it's going to kind of like reinforce the fact that you are in a little tiny black forest that's completely surrounded by mountains so you're completely surrounded by the cold and the idea is that there's this big bonfire in the middle of the town that's metaphorically fighting back the cold um what is, what is this called Wint, uh winter veil uh i can't remember dang it yeah i think this was winter veil winter veil um, so yeah, it's just all about like the winter and the cold vibes, but I'll take you guys through. We've got some frozen grounds. We've got some, uh, a nice little, like, uh, well, only one way to enter kind of through this valley here. Uh, we've talked about with Atlas, um, even doing with Genesis digital there in the, in the chat. Um, he's working on the RPG version and we've talked about even maybe like you could set up like an event here, uh, and take, take a, 
advantage of these like castle pe uh, structures that we used here and kind of like defend against a raid or something maybe have like uh community server events which would be really cool um yo thank you dao so much you are too kind um with some members and now with the donation thank you thank you thank you um yeah <laughs> we, we keep getting people that say that, that we should charge for this but it's just like i don't i don't know we from the beginning we just wanted it to be able to, the most people to be able to play it you know so that's why we wanted to do an unmodded yeah. version you know for everybody that's just free you know so um but i appreciate um that a lot so thank you thank you thank you with rolled out of the ashlands will you be updating the world or will this be one big wrap up on launch um this will all be released in january uh the rpg version will be out in a few months and um with ashlands we'll hopefully be updating the world we'll hopefully just add a whole nother thing to the end with the with the new boss and everything which is supposed to be pretty crazy um yeah i've i've heard just a little bit of behind the scenes whispering on some of the stuff that's coming in ashlands and i don't think people are going to be ready for it yeah so, it's... And we're going to have a lot of fun messing around with that stuff and, mm -hmm. and making some fun builds out of it i so. mean i mean we, the, when mistlands came out we spent months learning all the new pieces and scouring the console for new things so uh you, you already know we'll we'll have something for you guys for ashlands a whole like addition to this world and um you know hopefully that'll be an incentive to play through the whole thing again with your friends or start from start from scratch and kind of do the whole thing and maybe we'll we'll kind of update everything a little bit you know and add new stuff to everything or something yeah, i don't know we'll just have to see um no promises or anything but that's kind of the idea i guess um here's a little path which goes up and around i'll just fly up really quick and it goes like behind these rocks and i don't know i guess take you on a little path through here you can see it kind of like barely fits through these rocks and it comes around to the little entrance area where you could go up on this wall and you could actually like defend against an attack or something so a little community event here on the rpg server might be something that happens or something i don't know it could be really cool you can go up to the top of these towers you can look down from these towers if you're wondering um my inspiration for these towers by the way this is my seaside castle build uh it's a the build I did before my recent video and I showed a lot about why I designed the certain parts of these castles I took a lot of inspiration from real castles so definitely would recommend checking out that seaside castle build if you are curious I do understand that you want this to reach as many people as possible but you should like as the players of this one if they'd be willing to pay for another one and if so how much I you know I I yeah I get that but um I I am I am I hate asking people to subscribe and like and stuff. So speaking of, will you like the stream? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I just I I hate that stuff, and I think a lot of YouTubers like it. Me and Dakar scale like we're not like, you know, we're just regular dudes. So I I, I don't want to ask people to pay for it. I I just super appreciate like I'm incredibly eternally thankful for asmongold checking out the video and getting the word out to so many people just so that more people can enjoy this and it it just more people in the valheim community can can see it um that's that's all that really matters to us is that the most people get to see it so um anything you want to add there dakar i mean i don't i don't know um i don't want to no you but... said it perfectly i i 100 agree and yeah we've we've spoken many times about yeah we yeah. both it's it's the part of youtube we we least like is yeah. is doing the whole please like the video you know and i i told you i filled out the uh youtube creator survey the other day and one of the mm -hmm. comments i left was nobody likes that creators don't like asking people to like the video and people naturally don't want to like the video otherwise we wouldn't have to ask them you know that's not to say <laughs> yeah. people don't like the video but no one enjoys having to click the thumbs up button yeah, you know that's fair. yeah that's fair so so then us having to ask too we just don't really want to like you know so yeah it's, it's, we don't want to ask yeah. people to do something they don't want to do right. like yeah yeah it's we just appreciate that like i said that asmongold checked it out and that gathalian's involved and he's willing to tweet to get the word out and like we've got these bigger names that are helping us you know make all of our effort here way more worth it that's what i said in the beginning of the video is like 
you know, we had been playing this on and off for a year, but we just didn't really have, um, holy crap. Thank you, Matt. Oh my yeah. God, dude. 50 memberships. You are, yeah. you are Absolute insane. God. What? Yeah, dude. God tier watcher right now. Holy crap. Thank you. Everyone so much. in the chat. Give a big thank you to Matt Dennis. Yeah. Thank you so much, Matt. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, the gosh, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Um, like I said though, at the beginning of the video, we just don't. It we needed we needed a little bit more motivation because we knew that we were going to be putting in in total thousands of hours of work, and the only thing we could do is just hope that it reached the the most people and hope that our videos were able to get the word out. And having uh, Mortar Gaming contact me with this like idea of getting involved with Gathalian's idea it was just like it was the perfect idea to be able to get the word out and it was honestly a dream come true and then um you know I, I mean this has really been a dream for a year and then we had the motivation with that and then Asmongold checks it out too and so now even more people know and it's just been a whirlwind to be honest with you so you know thank you guys for being here to watch and I don't know we're just really happy to release it yeah, really soon yeah thank you guys so yeah. much yeah like it's just been nuts but um gosh that is crazy 50 memberships thank you matt that is so nuts i don't think you guys understand like my memberships are not um <laughs> i'm just a regular dude you know i don't have like thousands of members or something 50 memberships is kind of crazy Thank you, dude. That's Welcome incredible. all these new members. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Even, I, <laughs> my 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 analytics are just absolutely wrecked this month. Like, thank you, freaking Gathalian. Thank you, Asmongold. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think what's really cool here, showing you guys this town, is you can really get an idea for what the winter town feels like. You are completely surrounded by rocks and ice, and you're in probably the coziest town out of all of them. I think. You've got this fire in the middle, which I showed you guys earlier. We have a little fancy way to uh, make the fuel kind of eternal. So it'll just whatever and you don't have to fill it. And you've got like the frozen you know, like permafrost down beneath the soil. You've got the bridge going over the ravine in the middle. Um, as I said in the video, you have the large version and then kind of like the medium version and the small version of the build. So you have this like common theme around, but they're all three their own unique build. Um, I'll show you guys the interior too. This is an old build of mine and I kind of went all out on the interior just to make like a tavern vibe kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a Viking outpost tavern kind of vibe. Just maps and things down here and got like the cool roof. Um, you always nail these interiors. Appreciate it. And appreciate I, it. I know it's a very, a very sort of tedious, thankless yeah. task at times. Yeah, it is. It is. It's it's like you, you really bring these places to life. I appreciate that. You do the whole build, and you're like, oh yes, I'm ready to make the video, and you're like, oh wait, the inside has to feel like it's actually used. Um, so yeah, we left the full interior in on this one. So definitely for the linear version, this will all be here. I think for the RPG version, they're gonna leave it. I'm not really sure. Um, but I hope they do because I love the interior of this one. And I think it's vibes, but um, Much deserved you guys are artists and deserve all the love coming your way and the dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you I knew this was possible your build skills could bring it to life. You have not disappointed. That is very kind Thank you. Thank you I don't get how you accept the memberships. Oh, I don't know about that. I didn't get anything, but thanks to you, and Matt. I'm glad someone is paying these guys. <laughs> you guys are too nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly. In a multiplayer setting, will people be able to see these larger builds? Valheim multiplayer always struggles for me with high instance counts or terraformed areas. So yeah, terraforming shouldn't be a problem anymore. It used to be a problem back in the day. Um, that shouldn't be a problem anymore. But yeah, for the high instance builds, uh, everything should be fine on the multiplayer. Uh, but of course, you know, they've got a 100 person server, so they're going to be doing some testing, right? They're working through iterations of the server now in the mod pack, and they're going to they're gonna get it fine tuned to where 
hopefully everything's fine worst case scenario though they have to tone it down a bit you know and they have to take out some trees or take out the interiors you know save instances anywhere they can we've already removed uh you know all the iron poles and beams everything's infinite health it's supporting itself uh just based on that um you know so we've done what we can to make it pretty but also tone it down and if they have to tone it down a little more they could definitely do that branded so i can't be gifted normal accounts need to opt in for a gift but i have no idea how to do that oh i don't know what that is i think i'm pushing 2k hours in valheim me too crazy amounts of work yeah i think um i i really don't know how many hours but i mean if you count up all the time that we spent making these builds like also uh it definitely we've spent thousands of hours that that all collectively went into this i mean not to mention uh you know like editing the content and getting out the word and networking and stuff so it's been a part-time job <laughs> um this da -da -da. And make it playable doesn't feel cluttered at all nice yeah, yeah, yeah it's amazing will people be able to play the open world version other than Gathalian server yeah we keep getting that question um the rpg version we don't really know yet but we, yeah we think so we think that'll be doable we'll have to figure out more though the mod pack you can already get and play on whatever you want but uh it's it's getting that world their their rpg world to work not on their server that's hopefully going to be perfectly doable Yeah, I'm glad we showed them this town. This town is vibes. Right, and this also, what do you mean by linear? Yeah, so linear just means that like we're starting you at world spawn um, in the meadows. And in normal Valheim, you play through the game. And from the meadows, you go to the Black Forest. And before the Black Forest, though, you fight Ekthir in the meadows. Then you go to the Black Forest and, you know, you fight Elder and, and Bone Mass and Swamp. And like, you know, there's a natural progression that is linear through the game. But, um... We're going to take you on that path and you're going to follow the roads to locations along that path and kind of a beginning of the game meadows all the way to the end fighting bosses stopping at locations getting loot um getting gear uh, you know getting getting resources to then put gear together in the towns with the crafting areas so um yeah so kind of linear in that that respect just kind of playing through valheim but curated kind of linear uh designed experience so no 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 mining no building if you don't want to no farming no hunting all of the that will be provi provided for you yo thank you for uh, thank you thank you thank you for the help keep the lights on membership thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> my instances so maybe an issue for um this town is so great thank you very much did we show them we haven't showed them the ruins town but we haven't really show, i feel like we should save that for your video yeah yeah so ruins um we showed them plains we showed them meadows we showed them this yeah, we can't show them. We can't show them. Missing. I'm sorry, guys. We can't show you Mistlands and ruins are going to be in the car video. So no more on the cities. Uh, is there anything else we can show them that they haven't seen? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody's still here from the beginning. We could also take them back to the meadows really quick. We could kind of end the stream at the meadows, maybe. Kind of yeah, show. that's not a bad idea. Okay, let's do that. There is maybe, I mean, the only other thing I can think of is, do you know where we were originally going to put the pirate town? Yeah. Uh, like, yeah? Yeah, yeah, right here. Like, I mean, maybe that's just a fun little, you know, side excursion of something we didn't do, but yeah, we can that show was actually that. Up being a road here. There is, yeah, there's a bridge there too. Yeah. So like the road does come through there. We could actually even still build something there. I was still thinking um, those few locations we're going to add probably before even version like 1.1 is out. I was thinking this would be a great spot for one. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, this was just one of those places when we first opened up the map that kind of immediately jumped out as this is a bit interesting. There's something going on here. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do something with this. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, it's fun. It's it, like if, when you're when you're focusing on building in Valheim, a lot of times, um, at least for us, we'll look around for a long time for build spots. And so for us, like we got here and we were kind of nerding out a little bit. We were like, oh, this is so cool. We could have like, um, you know, a whole town like little on the water right here. Um, we ended up finding a different spot for the pirate town, but it's still like um, a super vibey area. I would say, <laughs> if I could say that, uh, the road still goes through here, so that's cool. Um... How did we decide on the seed? Um, kind of by accident. Well, not really. Um, so early on in the discussions, um, the plan was to have a very small starting island where the where the boss stones are um, and this seed was found that had that so we started working on this and much further down the line for the modded version that's now getting a completely full custom map it's not going to look anything like the kind of generation you're used to if you've made a load of different Valheim worlds you know you'll you'll mm -hmm. recognize the same kind of shapes and features um, so the fully modded one is going to be completely custom and yeah for ours I mean it just kind of worked out there were lots of these little fun places that we showed that inspire a different build or idea or just uh, some fun topography to work with mm -hmm. I think yeah the seed was really interesting because it's you know without revealing too much just the, the world spawn areas on an island and so it's just a cool spot to start off and then yeah like you said like the locations themselves um i explained it in the video a little bit we kind of had a few weeks of planning once we accepted the job and we were kind of getting different bits of information in at a time which were kind of defining what would be around the map but by the time we decided that there would be 35 locations in total at that point we started looking around and we started trying to space them out a little bit and have everything spread out and then you know we wanted to use each biome equally so we wanted to you know oh we haven't used planes yet so let's do a couple in planes and like oh we haven't done any over here let's do a couple over here and then you know we wanted to put bosses all around the edges like on the outside edge um so you kind of have to go a little further to get to them so i guess there were kind of a lot of different ideas but uh to decide where to put things but yeah yeah <clears throat> um I think I think we should show them. Was the mountain biome artificial? No, it was completely generated by the seed. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, as soon as we opened up the map and saw that, you could see it. I mean, you you won't be able to see it because nine bunch not showing the map. But as soon as you open up this map and and scroll over there, you can see what it is. You can see it's a fully surrounded black forest. So it stood out immediately as. Let's go here, have a look. There's probably something cool we can do. Um, mm -hmm. And yes, seeds are just like that sometimes. They generate some like weird and wonderful stuff. Uh, just got to keep your eye out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we've definitely got a bunch of things you got to keep your eye out for. Um, yeah, so I guess, I mean, we'll probably just give one little look at the meadows town i think would be a good place to end it i think we've answered a lot of questions um and this is kind of the main town the world spawn so i think it'd be kind of cool give them a little tour of this maybe yeah i don't know i mean i don't know if there's any thing we haven't covered that we should cover in this stream um i you know we could do another stream too we might be doing another stream in a week or so or um we haven't really figured that out yet we might do another stream uh, right before the linear map is out just to explain some of the final decisions on that um i don't know I, I don't know it depends on what everybody wants and if people still have questions and stuff some place. of the roads are a bit iffy at the moment yes yeah uh, there will be some those. clean up work done on the roads but um yeah one of the main tools we use for for making the roads more efficiently is currently not working so mm -hmm. uh that's put a hold on that side of thing if we've we've been working on other bits in the meantime mm -hmm. 
hopefully that'll be all fixed up though uh before yeah version kind of 1.1 1. 1 comes out cool. I'm sure. cool location for like a lake town like in the hobbit absolutely yeah definitely lake town vibes right there um on it honestly the pirate town has a lot of lake town vibes to it to it too um what else let's see how long did you guys spend hunting the perfect seed okay yeah, i think we answered that all roads are connected yeah all roads are roads are currently connected um so for the open world everything is connected and yeah we've got ways to direct for sailing um you know in general the, the times that you need to sail we've got different things like little clues in the water to kind of keep you going in the right direction um but for the rpg version i'm not really sure how much sailing they really want you to be doing it i i don't know um yeah that'll that's a good question for them um in Gathalian server you could find more information on that or maybe genesis if you want to say something to them about that if you have an idea yet um but yeah at least for the linear version anytime that you're in the ocean which we do have a couple of spots where you're going to be going through the ocean and actually um using boats uh it'll it'll be pretty obvious where you need to go paths in the forest are not actual roads yeah so there's there's paths that go off the roads which are something you definitely have to keep an eye out for um it's you know we've got things in the woods that you could go right by if you aren't paying attention and they're just kind of little extra locations they might have extra loot um so you'll definitely want to keep your eye out when you're exploring this kind of valheim is what i've been looking for that's awesome for the sign for the signs i shrunk because i love that look you guys have going um the signs i don't think they're sh did you shrink the signs oh what he did no is, the he... sign part is made invisible yeah so the signs invisible right so it looks like it's just part of the two meter beam pretty cool and then just nudged backwards a little bit into the beam with a uh, infinity hammer um nudge um move a mountain right here that's how how we nudge things i could show you really quick for um people that don't use kind of building mod stuff you got a piece right here and um or let's say like if i were to grab right here i just grabbed this piece right this is now frozen so i could then delete this piece and now it's not there but it's still frozen in my hammer so when i open it it's still there and then now I can nudge it any direction that I want. I can go up. See, I'm right now I'm going up and down by a meter, or I can go up and down by really small increments. I can reset back to the original. I can go up and down by slightly bigger increments. Um, these are just all with different key binds and things that we have. Um, then I can put the beam back. And I didn't, I accidentally didn't do it, but that's totally fine because we also have a redo and an undo. So I can just undo the last thing I did and there it is quick little magic yeah quick little infinity hammer magic tutorial um can i play with a friend in the linear version absolutely you can play with uh up to the max valheim will allow which is 10 in a, in a game for the linear version <clears throat> if they made custom dungeons we do have some i'll, I'll say yes we do have that but i, I don't, yeah. don't want to say anything else Let's say no more <laughs> yeah Yo, Cherry, thank you so much for becoming an ultimate member. You are a legend. Um, ping me on Discord, and I will um, get you into the private text channel so you can grab the adventure map download version one after this. <clears throat> we love Infinity Hammer, just wasn't using it to make things invisible, but I love that. Yeah, no, Infinity, I, I don't... What do you... Is that a field command thing? How are you making those invisible? Uh, yeah, that's one of the new cool things that uh, you can do with world edit commands. Yeah. Um, if you, you know, just just for Karis here, because he'll understand what I'm talking about. Sorry if this is gibberish for anyone else. Um, if you aim at something and do object space ID equals and then the name of the thing space field equals and then start tabbing, you'll see all kinds of fun stuff you can manipulate and prepare to go down the rabbit hole because uh there's a lot of stuff that works some stuff doesn't some stuff's kind of crazy and weird and janky but that's the fun of it that we know yeah um 
Huh, Atlas said pull him into the call. How long do we want to keep streaming? Do we want to? Up to you, man. Um, yeah, we can uh, pull Atlas in and he can answer some some questions about the the uh, RPG stuff quickly. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, Let's... It's up to you, man. All right, so we're going to bring on Atlas. This is uh, Genesis from the chat. Atlas is kind of... Um, He's, he's one of the head people working on the RPG version, and he's doing a lot of modifications to the map itself for the RPG version. So, um, yeah, I think it'd be better to bring him in, actually, to let him kind of describe a little bit about that, in case you guys are curious, a little bit less about the linear version, more about that. So, let's go ahead and get everybody in a call. Okay, we got one. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You're good to go. And then we're just waiting on to call. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you said that because we were we were probably going to end soon. So this is perfect. So you can, yeah, if you just want to talk and explain some stuff about RPG, I would, I would say go ahead. Yeah. So um, one thing that I did want to point out was I know a lot of people are looking at the build right now. You know the stream I've been. <laughs> By the way, my place of work lit on fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, I'll talk about that later with you guys, but I was watching the stream and one of the employees walked around the corner and was like, there's a fire. And I was like, what, what are you, what are you talking about? Gathalian stream is getting raided. I just started your stream. I'm about to like, Hey, say, Hey, joy, let me join the call. And then all of a sudden somebody comes around the corner screaming, there's a fire. There's a fire. I was like, uh, okay. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, so one of the things I wanted to point out was I know a lot of people watching the stream, uh, whether they've been watching from the beginning, may be curious about the RPG stuff. Um, so first and foremost, I want to say that um, Dakar did say this earlier. Uh, it'll be a completely custom map. It is not going to be a map that you would open up vanilla and say, generate a new map. Oh, this is a cool seat. It is completely custom. Um, I had I got permission from uh, one of the original authors of Better Continents. Um, now Jer uh, actually takes over and and works on it, but um, he did a specific game map. I took that game map and then all of the ideas that Dakar and Ninebyte worked out. For instance, the um, something I've shown Ninebyte and Dakar obviously can't show on stream because um, I'm very tight-lipped on the project. Uh, something that I did was I rebuilt the entire biome from scratch um so now i have really really tall mountains and buried within those mountains in a deep valley is the uh same black forest city a little bit modified and a little bit different um our spawn island is bigger there is sadly no river um just i i for i left out some details because i wanted the maps to be exceptionally unique um, the road network thing, I'm rebuilding every single city piece by piece, and I'm talking like down to the same elevation um, that they are on the linear map or the uh, open map uh, that you guys will be able to play here. Um, those are all going to be roughly the same. Um, I've added a couple buildings. I've tweaked a couple buildings. Much of the interiors are going to be the same. Um, there's going to be quests. There's going to be NPCs that walk around and, you know, like any MMO, uh, don't really do anything. They shout random things. They wave at you, you know, um, a bunch of cool stuff like that. I think, um, I think it's important to say that really quick before you go on. Recreating the towns, he, he just means... You know he's redoing the terrain to kind of an extreme level but he's still going to be using all the same builds all the same lamp posts and wells and you know little beehives right here that i'm passing you know but um he's gonna have to right. replace everything onto the new terrain so the rpg version he's using a mod where he goes in 
and custom does every part of the terrain this is why the rpg version is going to take a few more months because we're working with kind of a vanilla set of terrain within the game so that everybody can play it unmodded no need for anything like that he's working with a totally different thing that's like completely remapping the terrain um and so he's going to be able to create some really cool stuff and so that's why we've been really stressing like I mean, actually, really, we haven't gotten to talk about it. You really should try both. Um, but I understand, you know, they do cost some money and if uh, or our version is free. But, you know, Twitch membership d does cost a little bit of money if you can't afford it. That's totally cool. But I would really recommend trying both because our linear version is going to be totally different from their version. Like they're going to look very similar in kind of the themes. But what he's doing is really awesome. He's really stepping it up. Um, so it's, right. it's worth checking out both for sure. I guess um, a little bit of backstory about me is I am, for another game, completely unrelated, um, but I'm a total overhaul modder. I see something in, let's say, a single mod, and I'm like, I like that. I want that. I want to add that. So in this case, I'm basically getting to do that to the extreme except that I'm the kind of person who like, I can see all the work, I know all the work, I've discussed all the work with both Dakar and Ninebyte, and so I understand, you know, they have a vision and I need to ensure that I'm enabling their vision, even if it's on a completely separate map. So when you walk into the Meadows Town, you'll instantly go, oh, okay, I know what that building is, I know what that building is, I know what that building is, but then you might go, huh, what is that building? Um, and so the idea is not only to honor the, the systems they have in place and the, the builds that they have in place, but also to honor, you know, the general feel, the love and, and, and care that they put into the world. Um, but I have to change that. I have to morph that. One of the biggest things that I was disappointed with, bear in mind, I'm almost brand new to Valheim. I literally have 300 hours and a hundred of those are playing Gothic, uh, the mod pack. And then the other 200 have been literally on modding this world. Um, one of the things that frustrated me though, was the writing mechanic. Like you get to the planes and you're like, Oh, I can tame a, you know, I can tame a lox and I can ride it. And then you're like, oh, but I'm I'm on an island. So one of the big things for me was um, I need sea travel to be important, but I also need player progression to be just as important. Um, and so when you get to the planes, you're going to turn around and you're going to be like, oh, that's why the bridges are so wide. Oh, that's why the paths are so wide and somewhat flattened out here, but not there. And and they have rolling. So like as soon as you progress somewhere, you should instantly go, that makes sense now. Um, and so something, you know, that I have to take in mind is, you know, um, I have a very, very long path laid out for the player because eventually what you end up doing is you know, you leave the main continent and then you have, um, like the Mistlands, um, isn't spread out around the world. It's one large island. Um, I, I say island, but basically it's the size of a normal, uh, Valheim continent, you would call it. It's a pretty big landmass. Um, and then deep in the heart of it is, um, you know, the, the Queen's Lair and stuff like that. Um, some, I've done some city designs, um, and some terraforming to the ground, uh, in the mistlands so that I can basically pull the build almost one-to-one -one from, uh, the RPG map into this map so that I don't have to modify everything. I had a super sweet idea for, um, Dakar's giant ship and, uh, I'm, I'm excited to put that into play because I think Dakar will get a kick out of it. Um, there's, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just, you know, I don't want to take everybody's time, but I understand a lot of people are going to have a lot of questions. Um, I'll say this, you know, because Dakar is not going to say it and Nine Bind is not going to say it, but uh, please do like and subscribe. Um, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 
But uh, you know, they're they're good dudes, and um, hopefully by the time the modded server comes out, um, you guys will have an idea of the lore. You know, behind Nine Bytes uh, builds, you'll have the lore behind the cars, and then sometime a couple months from now, I'll put out a video and go through every single change i've made um for the modded server and give you guys backstories and tell you all the lore and you know surmise everything and then uh what we will likely do is um we'll probably end up doing a developer series where we all get together not just me and dakar and nine bite but like all the modders and we do a really 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 long uh video edited down and then we'll just put it on nine bytes channel so we we can all make millions of dollars from nine bite <laughs> oh, wow millions i don't know about that <laughs> yeah that would be really cool though um I would really love to come together with everybody and get like one really long chat where we all hang out and discuss everybody's kind of contribution and, and ideas. And like you said, there's a lot of lore that goes along with it too. A lot of ideas behind things that don't really fit into videos that on YouTube, we, that we have to make really short and save time. So yeah, that, that'll be really great. Um, but overall Atlas is also a legend here too. So do we have some way that we can put out something in the chat really quick to follow you somewhere? Or is there some kind of link we can put in there for you or, um, what would be your preferred link? Just your YouTube channel? Did we lose him? Oh, did we lose him? Yeah. Maybe we lost him. Might've lost You're him. muted maybe. Let me see. Let's, I think he's. I know he's got um we find it between the two of us surely can you hear me sorry gosh there we go you're yeah, back yeah yeah my uh my phone my phone closed oh okay uh can you send me if you want to go ahead and just send your link in the chat to the trailer you just made uh the other day um that'll give everybody a link to uh your channel and the trailer and they can give you a subscribe and um you know, if, if you guys want updates on the RPG version, hop into Gathalian's Discord and you'll see messages from, uh, his name is Genesis here in the chat, but Atlas in Discord, that's him. And he is kind of able to give you guys like the real, uh, like what's happening with the RPG version. Um, but yeah. I just... um, and, and Go ahead. Yeah. To answer a direct question. Um, so we have had 45 people simultaneously on the server in one area. Was, was it laggy? Yes. Was it as laggy as other people have, uh, you know, other YouTubers and, and streamers and stuff? No. Um, we have, um, if any of you guys have played Comfy Mods, uh, Comfy Mod is um, actually working with us to create an entirely unique um, networking solution uh, and we have a bunch of stuff to test and, and tweak and figure out. Um, so um, it, it definitely will take a lot of work to figure out. But right now, with the new group system coming in the next mod pack update, we're looking to see if we cannot iron out uh, two to three people in the same area being almost exclusively no lag. Um, it'll take a lot of, you know, it'll take a lot of, uh, tweaking and working, but, um, the way I want to do and something that I saw or asked at the earlier of the, uh, stream, sorry, it's, I'm sitting outside. It's a little chilly. Um, something I saw asked at the beginning of the stream was, um, how many people do you expect to be in a group and how hard are the bosses going to be? I'm looking at making bosses not mandatory two to three people but i want somebody who let's say you go all the way to bronze gear um or what is it copper gear and leather gear and you get like the best of the best enchantments for that level you're back you'll be able to defeat ichthyr uh with some difficulty right um but if you have two to three people and you're like med level, you know, you still have uh, you have a little bit of troll stuff. You have a little bit of leather, um, maybe some rag, but you have some decent weapons. Two to three people should be able to defeat the boss raid, um, you know, relatively easily. Also, correction, um, 
I, I saw Asman say this a lot, and I wanted to correct this. This was not done in a, a year. This was planned for a year. So the builds um, that you're seeing are the culmination of a year's work. However, the server itself was done in roughly three weeks, which makes it even more insane. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of a tough one to like tally up in terms of time because yeah, we we yeah, a lot of this stuff we have been building since a year ago, and we have certainly been discussing our, our own ideas about uh, doing the kind of linear version for, for around a year. And then, as you say, yeah, just a handful of weeks ago, this, your your guys got in touch with us and, and this all kind of came together. And yeah, so far what's been put together has been, yeah, just a handful of weeks, which is crazy. It's been a blur. Yeah. And of course I've got let me see. I've got uh, until Ashland releases, and then we've got to do all the mod updates. So I've got, I'm expecting to release version one of the modded RPG server uh, for full testing on Gathalion server around March or April, because um, there's a lot of work to be done. Um, there's going to be thousands of quests, hundreds of traders and NPCs, um, lots of stress testing, um, and then the Ashlands gets released, and then we will probably all come together again, um, figure out how we want to do the Ashlands, because I'll have to reset the Ashlands uh, in the map. A bunch of other mm -hmm. stuff, but, you know, and then I've got plans for the Deep North, you know, if it happens a year from now. So, you know, this is all a, pro, you know, a, a process of, you know, who knows, a, a, a year from now, we may have a completely different map rebuilt from scratch, completely modded, and we may be having, you know, you know 600 people on a server. Um, who knows what, you know, time has in store for us, but it's something that... Um, we're definitely uh, going to be taking count of. Um, the Barbarian King, curious if there are any in-game factions. Um, so, not necessarily. Um, I haven't checked. So, for the RPG server, for Thalion's modded server, um, I do want to take the locations of the POIs and kind of push unique quests there so for instance um a priest quest might be like uh go and heal x amount of people go in um sanctify this many undead um really simple stuff but um i do want to take into account you know those kind of mechanics Annex and really accentuate them so less of a guild and kind of more for you to do with your class like more reasons to use your class in the modded series sure for sure um thank you for this q a i'm a valheim fan and this is the best gift the community can receive you're too kind too kind that be face yeah album. i um <laughs> <laughs> i do think that um it would be rather impressive to get 600 people on the server but in <laughs> you know in my past uh, um so i work on a game called kenshi um two years ago the developers were telling us that sound modding is impossible that it's impossible to have a um, script injection um, mod so that you can completely write custom code for the game. And two, two years later, my community was like, hey, by the way, we did this. Also, here's a bunch of functions you missed in your own game code that make, you know, that allows you to have NPCs assassinate people and stuff like that. So, you know, when it comes to modding, it's it's hard to say because there may literally be somebody out there who's like, hey, I love Valheim and I'm an IT person 
do server management and hey by the way if i rewrite this entire code and inject it then i can transform every single server ever into you know infinite stability um there's there's you know there's infinite possibilities out there you just have to be able to catch the right eyes absolutely yeah and and very much the same thing goes uh for the mods we use um 90 percent of what we use uh is is made by a very very clever person and mm -hmm. some things that a year ago weren't possible to do in like a vanilla friendly environment now you can do that and 10 times more and it's just it's brain melting for me to think about how how that kind of stuff works um so yeah very much echo the same sentiment never say never mm -hmm. absolutely so um aaron to answer your question uh this was answered earlier on stream but i figure uh nine bite into car a little sick of answering it so um dakar's explanation was uh a little technically dry but long story short the way the builds don't affect fps as heavily as they would is because they're not running calculations for wear and tear and for how much damage they're taking because they have a magical number behind them that basically means they quote unquote do not take damage um and so basically you've eliminated that calculation so it doesn't mean it means that the game isn't constantly performing that for all these pieces now will there still be lag even on um you know the uh linear version yes if your pc struggles with valheim normally these builds will probably be um quite a lot but you can you know obviously fiddle with your own settings once you get your hands on the map and play the way you want to play play with settings that are enjoyable to you you know if you're okay running the map at 30 fps cool you know that's that's completely you know up to you but um like i was answering earlier in chat it's hard to say for any person because everybody's system is different hey you know you're only going to drop five frames or hey you're only going to drop 10 frames um so for an unmodded version the way it works is basically uh long story short the effect of the item is always there basically you're just telling the game not to check this calculation so what infinity hammer does um so I'll have to get a little bit nerdy, but basically when you break something in Valheim, the the value never actually hits zero. It hits a what's called a floating integer. And typically that is uh, 0.3145, et cetera, numbers. It's not pi, but it's pretty damn close. Um, so what you're doing is when you build something with infinite health, you build it under that limit and because there's a secondary health layer uh wear and tear uh nine bite and dakar were talking about that earlier they're able to manipulate the health layer um and stuff like that so um it basically is like if you had console commands and you were able to look at those commands uh, or look at the health of an item and say hey have actually zero health um it would basically be unbreakable yeah 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 kind of the the way we did it until very recently was to give pieces an insane amount of health and you know from the very like layman's version that i would give that uh equated to zero damage being done when the game tried to do damage to those pieces um but the kind of the, the new the new magic we have sets health to minus one yeah uh, which then, um yeah so the settings you put on infinity hammer for it not to break will stay that way even if you yes correct so long story short computers do not like 
not having ones or zeros and so basically what you're doing is you're telling it it is a zero even though it's technically a one it's a very yeah. nerdy thing to say but um, yeah that's pretty pretty much what it is so is there anything else you want to tell everybody about the rpg version specifically though before uh because we're probably gonna in the stream here soon so i just want to is there anything that's really important that you want to get out there and you want to have included in this stream now or you think you kind of have covered everything um wait for the video uh you know my yeah. my channel is is you know you can, uh my you if you scroll if you up a little bit my youtube link is there so you guys can go and watch the teaser trailer nice. um nice. But yeah, other than that, wait for the video. If you guys want to play the server now, um, play on, sorry, play on the modded server now. It's not going to be the map, but it will be the mods, and you'll be able to collaborate with all of Gathalion's uh, server. You can join his Discord and find more information there. Um, otherwise, if you guys want to play the map, obviously you can become an Ultimate Channel member for 9Byte, and... Uh, or if you want to wait for, you know, their linear version, there's going to be more tips and tricks. Also, holy cow, I just want to say this. There are so many hidden chests. I was rebuilding the Black Forest oh, yeah. the other day, and I was like, yo, yo, there's a chest here? Yeah, there's there's a lot. I, I really wish I had started recording it. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I think we're going to do something really special with that, I think. I'm hoping you guys can fit something in for your version, too. Um, maybe have them reset or something. I don't know. We'll have to talk about that, you know? Yeah. Um, but, yeah. You could make them... Oh, thing. by the way, with Infinity... Maybe World Edit, Infinity Hammer. I think you can make them respawn. Yeah, so, okay. So, maybe even we can do yeah. something like that without the mods and stuff. We'll just have to see. But, yeah, I think I think mm. that's a good way to, yeah, sum everything up. You know, there's, there's different ways to play, and, um, yeah if you're looking for more information you can join my discord and i've got an faq page uh if you're looking for more information specifically in the rpg version you can join gathalion's discord and you'll find uh the guy who's talking here genesis or atlas he'll be in there and he'll be able to answer your questions um and uh i just yeah. reposted the teaser trailer in the uh chat nice. so yeah yeah so definitely check him out he's going to be posting a video that covers a lot of the rpg stuff dakar is going to be posting a video which is kind of part two to my video which is like all of his side of the map everything that he kind of did a lot of work on himself and then more stuff we worked on together so uh both these guys are definitely worth a follow if you're interested in this map because they're going to be putting out at least one video each on it and of course here on my channel we'll probably be live streaming again to cover everything and then of course as atlas said we might even do like a dev stream or something for like this map for like, you know, how did we develop this and everything. Um, so we'll have to see what happens with that. But yeah, I think that's really everything. I mean, we've answered quite a lot of questions. So you could also re yeah. rewatch this stream, let it play in the background like a podcast or something. Um, and yeah, I hope we answered everybody's questions. We'll do another one soon. And yeah, I think we'll end it here probably. Good night all. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Good night, everybody. Thank you, uh, to everyone who's checked out the videos and joined the discords and everything, and for your mm -hmm. lovely comments, and of course to yeah. the amazing people who gifted all those memberships. Yeah, absolutely. The donations and the gifting. I literally thank you guys so much. We, uh, you guys are incredible people, and thank you for all the new subs, new members, and everything. Uh, looking forward to dropping this map soon. So yeah, thank you guys for participating tonight and hanging out, and uh, we'll see you again soon.